Uh, we have COVID. I didn't meet you, but I wish I would have got to meet you. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, I like picking up like really tiny guys and like putting them in closets so they're forced to come out and then I make fun of them for being gay. All right, well, Keffels, this is a big turnoff. You're being way too forward. Um, you're taking it way too far. What was that first shot? With all, with all due respect, Mr. Keemster, I do not want to get into it. <laughs> Before we start going, we're going to check audio levels. How does Keemstar sound compared to me? My voice should be lower. Also, moderators, making a few extras. Any transphobic shit in chat, delete immediately. No, we're no, on lockdown. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, she tweeted, I'm more than a man than you because I keep my promises and stand by my convictions. And I had my dick and balls removed. I don't know what that says about you. I responded and said, well, I believe women can also stand by their convictions. I find your tweet very sexist. <laughs> Smaggle, you're back as moderator tonight. Remember, no no transphobia. It's like no Russian, but like real, okay? Not a video um, game. So, so she tried to do this weird thing where she, you know, remember when she was trolling the quartering, acting like the quartering wasn't showing up to a debate or some shit? Yes. That's what she's trying to do with me. She I know, and I just fucking made it happen, all right? I'm like fucking, I don't even know, dude. I'm just like fucking What do you Jesus. mean you made it happen? How would you make it happen? I'm the neutral party, dude. You'd only come from here. No, she literally tweeted that she's not coming because she, you're a man. Wait, really? She just, she just unblocked right me. Now. There's no way. I mean, that's what she wait, tweeted. Wait, there's no way Keffels is running. That's what she tweeted. I don't no, know. No, come on. Hold on. I hope Keffels isn't running. I want to meet my queen. Keffels is my queen. Keffels doesn't even... Wait, BS, you don't even care that I'm here because you know that I won't speak. You literally just want to cuck my content. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Keffels. She literally knows that I'm just farming right now. This is bullshit. She's stealing my content. Me and Keffels have been farming all day. <laughs> I'm farming more, okay? These, I'm, I have nothing to do with this situation. I've inserted myself to the nth degree. This is my content. What the fuck? I think she actually gets mad, though. She's not that good of a troll. I think she actually gets mad because she keeps calling me a pedophile. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like, typically bad. Yeah, I would say that's not my that's, favorite insult. I'm just saying that's kind of extreme, right? Like, if you're calling me a pedophile, you're probably mad. <laughs> like, yeah. you sound mad. Wait, I'm so confused. Girl. Why did Keffel... Oh, God. She knows. She's doing this just to be mean to me. This is super upsetting. No, I'm not going to sue. Keffels, I hope you know that this is going to directly affect how you're portrayed in my video. Yes, I want to be on the record that Keemstar came for the debate and Keffels, even though she claims she's more of a man than me, all right, that's what she claimed on Twitter. Um, apparently, um, she is not. But I do not like that terminology. I find it very sexist because I do believe that women can also keep their promises and stand by their convictions. I rest my case. I hope that Keffels does join this conversation, but on the off chance that she doesn't, I appreciate you for coming. This is not a nice Well, time. I just, I want the record to be known that I came to the Keffels debate and Keffels has not showed up. That's true. She's running right now. There's no way we can farm her enough to get her oh. in here. It's impossible. She tweeted me again. What did she say now? I said, I believe women can also stand by their convictions and I find your tweet very sexist. And she goes, yeah, and? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, come on, Leffles. Leffles, uh-oh. Them's is fighting words. Smackdown actually... versus Raw in here. Leffles, I've always wanted to meet you. I've been watching your little antics online. Uh, Keem, if you don't want to debate Keffles tonight, I, my buddy Dylan wants to debate you on rape. I don't know the context to that, but... <laughs> no! Uh... <laughs> no! No! I am not talking about any of this weird shit, bro. Are you pro or against it, just for, just for you know, shits and giggles? I, I would like to say, and I want this to be recorded, so okay. please get ready to clip it, because I have a nuclear take, okay. all right? Uh-oh. And I, these are my true believings, all right? This is no memes or... None of the little jokes, okay? Um, Hitler was a bad guy, and I do not support him. Oh, there that. he goes again. Pulling another, I, uh, yeah, dude, the quartering was right about you. Super virtue signal there, bro. I 
do believe that. <laughs> that is actually what and I believe. And there it is. <laughs> Oh, God. And I'm sorry if some people are upset with that, but I do believe that. I mean, he was horrible. He started an entire world war. Did you know that? Yeah. But you know what You know what Hitler never did? What? Rape. Uh, I disagree. I disagree. Hitler played a big part in uh, many rapes because um, he targeted groups of people in his country and his soldiers were doing the R, R word under his orders. You're not That's wrong. backed up by history. It's by That's association, up by... I agree. Yep. Kaffels, you so... need to join the stream. You're the one who challenged this debate. There's no backing down now. Uh, listen, I mean, there are. I have problems with things you tweeted today. I'm not defending you on every fucking point you have here. I'm not defending you on any. This is you versus Kaffels, one on one, all right? And uh, if, if you guys aren't letting each other talk, I'm happy to intervene, happy to uh, help you out, happy to help her out. Yeah, Keffels, we gotta stop from getting so angry. Like, you getting really, like, frustrated and grinding your teeth and calling me a pedophile. Like, I can see it. <laughs> like, I can see it, honey. Honey, you're mad. You don't have to be mad. This is funny, because Keffels usually does this, where she picks a fight with somebody, pretends there's a debate so she has content that night, and then streams to a few more viewers than normal. But tonight, motherfuckers, it's my night to do that! <laughs> It's my night to farm the debate. <laughs> oh my god, did you see this stupid- Oh yeah, you did, you were fighting with people on Twitter. Yes, I'm infuriated. Ethan. I think I'm having a conversation with that person Dude, after this one, probably. I'm so frustrated. Can I vent about this situation? Sure. All right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, not, like, uh, I'm anti, uh, wait, no, no, no. I'm not Jesus anti Jesus Christ, Kim. I was fucked up. <laughs> Because, like, the thing that's throwing me off is the anti, right? Because it means, like, no. <laughs> yes. I but I, I am not, I am not anti-Semitic, all right? Good. I, I, I love all different, like, I, I don't have hatred for any group of people. In fact, my overall worldview is this. Every group, no matter what that group is, whether a religion, a race, um, you know, a sexual orientation or whatever, there's bad people in every group. In every group. And normally, the bad people are the fucking loudest. So, you know, stupid, low IQ motherfuckers come online and like, oh, I hate this group of people. I hate that group of people. And what they're basing that opinion on is like some major news story where someone in that group did something bad, right? Mm -hmm. It's just low level thinking. You know, I don't know about anyone else, but when I went to school, I was taught that there are many religions, there are many races, there are many sexual orientations, um, and that uh, America, which where most of the people that we communicate with are from, uh, is the melting pot of all these different ideas and all these different races and whatnot. Um, and at the end of the day, like, you know, we learned about Martin Luther King and shit, like down to the basics where individual people should be judged on their character. Let's keep it to the individual people. Cause I don't know how this like anti-Semitic racism, fucking sexist, like all this shit, like even exist. I don't get it. I Can agree. We just talk about individual people because most of the time it's like some joke. Like most of the time it's not even serious. Like someone's saying like, Women need to cook more. All right. All right. Wait, wait. Time out. Like... Time out. Time out. Chris, are you bullshitting me? Is Chris with you, Keem? Oh. Chris the Narc, which is Keemstar's employee, for the record, I don't know if they're fucking with me, is saying that I'm a... Okay, I don't think Keffel's called me a gross Italian. There's no way that happened. I'm sorry. I, I refuse to believe that's what Keffel's called me, so I'm not going to go with that one. But I could believe she says she doesn't respect me and I love Kiwi Farms. That would be super interesting. Has she read the Did commentary really thread that? on there? Because the first two pages are me spurging out about how much I hate Kiwi forms. So that would be interesting. Anyhow, long story short, um, I was basically, uh, in 2017, you know, PewDiePie did something which was perceived by the mainstream media as being anti-Semitic. But in reality, he wasn't trying to be. Like, that's, not, that's not what the point of what PewDiePie did was to be anti-Semitic. He was messing around with people on fiber that will do anything for $5. And he was like, how far can I push this? And so he asked them to hold a sign that said death to all. I don't even know if I can say it. Don't say it on Twitch. Twitch. 
Thank you. Thank you okay, for catching yeah, yourself. I, Jesus Christ. I won't, I won't say it on Twitch. Ooh. But we we all know what it is, right? Death to all, you know. Yeah, blank, I know. Right? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the people accept the $5 and hold the sign. And PewDiePie plays the video and he's like, I cannot believe that they did that. You know what I mean? That is the whole joke. The joke doesn't work if he actually supports that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The joke doesn't work if he's anti-Semitic. It only works if we're all not anti-Semitic and all understand that him, them holding that sign is bad. All right. That's the only way the Keem, joke I'm gonna works. I'm going to cut you off there because I do have to respond to Keffels because I haven't heard exactly what's said, but I'm listening to chat. Chat could be steering me wrong. Fully understand that. Uh, apparently, I'm being called like a failed drama streamer. Like, Keffels is just like really afraid to get in the call. All right. I'm not going to go the super fucking malicious route where I just call her a bunch of fucking names and say a bunch of shit about her. Um, I think if you want to know my position on Keffels, my Twitter is very, very clear on it. The video will be very, very clear on it if I ever make it. That's fine. Um, but I'm open to having or hosting this conversation in a way that doesn't like cause either of you to have any partners in this. I I'm doing this down the middle. Um, if you don't like me, that's fine. Uh, if you're so, I mean, you think Keemstar is such an idiot or whatever, you should be fine with having a moderator in the call to engage with it. Um, I, if you're going to stomp him out so badly, I don't think my presence to say, Hey, I think you're talking a little too long. Uh, let, let him finish that sentence or let her finish that sentence is really going to encroach on your territory here. Uh, problems aside with me, I can put my problems aside with you. I think it'd be an interesting conversation. I think it's good content. You fired up a stream tonight, not expecting Keemstar to chat with you. I have given you that opportunity. Um, and I think you should take it. I just want to say for the record, and this is for my Twitter video that I am on Twitch with Nicholas DiRiorio, who has agreed to host the debate, although I don't even know what we're going to debate about with Keffels, and Keffels did not show up. Now, this was something that she, like, started memeing about. She started tweeting out, like, hey, you were supposed to come debate me, and you didn't show up. Like, this is like a meme and a joke that she does. She did it with uh, that moron known as the quartering, who uh, takes about, I don't know, five minutes to say three words. And it worked on him. It's not working on me, honey. We here. We on the Nicholas Dorio thing. I would love to meet you. The beautiful Keffels. I don't know what we're going to talk about. But um, if you don't show up real soon, I win. Don't get mad and call me a pedophile again. It makes you look really salty. So now Keffels has tweeted that I'm an avid Kiwi Farms user. So she's just going to lie. Wait, I'm so... All right, I'm really biting my tongue here. If this conversation doesn't happen, we'll have a very different stream about this, okay? But I'm still going to remain composed, all right? I disagree with that fucking assessment of my character, and I'm still open to having a conversation between the two of you hosted on my channel, okay? Um, whew. Jesus. All right, so... I'm, I'm wondering, I think Keffels was considering it. That's why, um, wait, why am I screenshotting this? Uh, so can I continue with my story? Yeah. Because this Keffels thing, I'm not really, um, she said Keem's afraid. I'm not afraid. I'll talk to anyone. I'm not afraid to talk to anyone. I'll talk to anyone. What is she going to say? Like, I don't, I don't even know what she's going to say. Was she going to call me transphobic? That's not true. Was she going to call me racist? I don't know. That's Apparently this is such an easy conversation to have, but we're just going to be super bad faith and lie. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you say about me. It's not true. If you want to say I have a great beard, then that is facts. All right. <laughs> are you going to call me a pedophile? That's also not true. Like, what are you going to say, Apples? Come on. I tweeted you. As a fan and as a supporter, asking my queen who we are going to cancel today. And you got real mad and started attacking me, saying that you fucked my dead father. That was too far. But I was willing to forgive it and still go on this uh, Twitter, uh, excuse me, Twitch date with you to have a nice, lovely conversation. And you didn't show up. This is so fucking funny. 
All right. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if she changes her mind. I guess this is really embarrassing. Are the people. For her. So the people in the chat saying, I beg your pardon. No, earlier today, she tweeted at me that she fucked my dead father. I'm serious. Jeez, this is actually I don't know so she, sad. I don't know if she did or not. I didn't go to his grave, but if it's dug up, like, she admitted it. Go look on Twitter. I swear to God. She right. literally said this. Here, I'm going to pull up the tweets yeah. earlier today, Nick. I'm listening to Keffels right now. Um, let me screen share this. Tor is real easy to use, useful to research for direct action. This is crazy. Why? Oh, there's so much dead air. I can have full. S Dude, she's the perfect reaction streamer. We're waiting I can literally for you to join. With her I am waiting straight. for Keemstar to join. Dude, oh, come on. What do you mean is she waiting? That's a troll. This is so funny. Like, if he is actually a real a man, you can have. A one on one. It is a one on one. Uh, I'm not two the on one. Freak to back him up. Like her he's physical, being a fucking pussy. Her physical <laughs> appearance has greatly improved, I must say. Put on her. You go, girl. Who's playing my stream now? Put on you, Keffels. You work right? that thing, girl. I actually All right. could. All right, Keffels, you bring Vosh and I'll bring Keemstar, okay? That's my concession. Keffels, you bring Vosh, and I bring Keemstar. Keffels, you slay, oh, queen. Whoa, whoa, what are you showing me? You're looking all right. I'm happy to have Vosh in. I have no problem with Vosh in the call. I don't I don't want weirdos in. I don't want Vosh. No, thank you. He, he actually um, has said a lot of, like, uh, But, Keem, know, it's the same thing. It's just moderating. We're just in there. This no, chat is so no, bad. No, 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 no. It's I don't want to talk to Vosh. Over there. The two of them are making Hitler jokes. What? She's lying. We're Who not making Hitler jokes. would have guessed he's a jokes. racist and a pedophile? <laughs> I'm what shocked. Howard, she's just making how is, shit up. How is she? How, I I can't believe she's like confidently calling me like a pedophile over and over again. I'm like, a kiwi farmer. You're apparently a racist pedophile. Groomers truly Does a she, multitasker. Like, like, she Groomstar? have any checks and balances? <laughs> like, what if I wanted to sue? Right? Like, what if I wanted to sue? <laughs> well, she's got a hundred thousand dollars in the bank ready for that day. Out today. I'm just saying. What was like, the, what the what was the one thing from like that clip that was going around? Um, or it says like I am like I am Adolf Hitler, commander of the Third Reich. Wait, is is Keffels making Hitler jokes on stream? Who would have guessed that she's a racist? Hey, didn't she actually make Slimy, um, some type of like fuck. edgy jokes or whatever? So she just she got exposed Saudi, recently. She gets to have Vosh moderate, but when Kim Star wants Nick. mod, he doesn't sorry, so get much. one. Also, yeah. Keffels called me an F slur. What happened? Bring that up, Keem. Nick, didn't yes. Keffels get exposed for, like, basically being, like, an edgy commentary person in, back in the day? I mean, Keffels tweeted, like, a 9-11 meme the other day, didn't she? Like, a couple days ago? Yeah, Keffels has made mm. edgy jokes before. Oh, Keffels I see you like tweeted canceled. at me. I just quote tweeted, because it's like, okay, dude. Why are you such a coward? Twitch with Nicholas. Are right, you just going to mute? You like, you need to have the mute button on Keemstar to chat with him? No, like, that's actually so sad. Keffels, and Keffels did not show up. Now, this was something that she, like, started memeing about. She started tweeting out, like, hey, you were supposed to come debate me and you didn't show up. Like, this is like a meme and a joke that she does. No, she it's did not. It with, this is uh, real. That moron known as the quartering who uh, it takes about, I don't know, five minutes to say well keem you're on her stream finally and it worked I, on him it's not working on me honey we here we on the nicholas dorio thing i would love to meet you the beautiful keffles i don't know what we're going to talk about but um if you don't show up what real soon pussy. i win don't get, I don't get so if you just say what again. a pussy does that you're make it true jesus he told me not to now i'm going to call him a pedophile three times as hard jesus he is right at the corner in Zamora, though. I'll give him that. Leffles, Leffles, Broken Leffles. clock. Well, Keffles didn't show up. I win. 
I win. Nicholas Durio, put this in your video that I won. Well, I'm recording this separately, so I have it that can go up or whatever. But it's kind of em this is right. super embarrassing. I mean, how <laughs> mad do you have to be to not show up to a debate? Which you started. You hey, wanted it's to do good the to debate, see you too, Canadian brother. And then get like, call me a pedophile. Like, what? It's actually like super pathetic that she's so fucking stun locked right now. She didn't expect she you to come on and, and want to have a conversation with her, and now she has no fucking idea what to do about it. Like, she's literally meet... floundering on stream looking for every excuse to not chat with you. Guys, I want to meet Cuffles so bad. She reminds me of a cast member of Friends. Such a lovely woman. I'm okay with even literally muting in the call. This is the only, like, this is a very minor concession that you have to um, add me on Discord okay. and join a call. Like, there's literally nothing to it. He never... Is she, he, uh, you understand that if I interject and I start defending Keemstar, that actively looks bad on Keem, right? That looks bad on me, that looks bad on Keem. I think, she, I think she's joining. He, he never... Wait, she's not joining. Wait, this is actually the most sad thing ever. Did you see the turfs getting pied in Portland? At Sophie Agara May has video. <sighs> Oh, well, I'm sad. Kaffles didn't show up Don't to our it. agreed date. I think that she might show Don't up. Don't do what? I think, I think if Don't we do wait what? a little bit longer, she'll come. Uh, Nihilistic Nachos, thank you for the $5 dono. She's just posting to her little feed of the only fan she has left. Like, I can't even, like, this is ridiculous. Look. Okay, well. Look. She's about to break, I can tell. Keem, you, you gotta stick with it, Keem. It's gonna happen. Here, we're not even talking about anything. We're literally just watching her stream. I feel like Papa Look. Gut. I have no life or creativity. <laughs> All I wanted to do was have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart with Keemstar Bullshit. today. Bullshit! You're a coward. You out, fucking like, ran. You, you just wanted to, to farm like viewers man. for no fucking That's reason. Fun. Sit there with 900 and talk no, about letting up. Nick, Shut up and bet. Nick, you in shut up and you let me respond, god damn it. Gifted I had to tier talk to Kiri first. I would like to say something. All I wanted that, was to have I had a heart-to-heart to heart with Kethels as well. And that's and fucked up. she won't show up. Like, I... I don't know. Like... I wouldn't expect, like, perverted justice to moderate a debate with Kiwi Star. You know? I don't want to trigger Somebody the guy. Nobody knows what the fuck perverted justice is. Is that the is that like pedo hunter? What's wrong with is Italians? That the joke she's trying to make. Is it a pedo hunter? I don't know. Is the she only person shit about Italians who That's says kind of what's wrong up. with Italians obviously didn't grow up with an Italian family. Isn't Keffel's Italian? I don't think that she's shitting on Italians. I think we're all like, three of us are Italian. That's here. obvious. This is so sad. Soy boy motor, thank you for the five gift subs. Far left shark, also thank you for the five gift subs. All I'm saying is, if you really want to engage that bad, you Amazing. finally got your chance at a conversation, and you're actually interested in talking. Sitting in my Discord call isn't gonna fucking dis like sway that. Do you know for a fact they sh she's Italian? No, I don't. I don't. I just I that was something I thought I heard. Do you, wait, do you break your spaghetti in half? That's literally a war crime. Like never, 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 ever. Ever ask ever, her. Because I know ever we, we have that. a lot more viewers than we had at the beginning of the stream. To prep for the stream, by the way, I just want everyone to know. I made hey, multiple so she need to be nicer to Keem. He has only destroyed dozens of people's lives. I almost got oh banned God. on Twitch. Um. Wait, they're watching on Twitch? Yeah, we're absolutely Can they hear what I'm saying? Yes, we can hear everything you're saying. And you're giving us nice pauses in between to engage with your comments. We're basically debating right can now. They? You just can't hear me. In yes. a perfect world... Keemstar and Etika would change places. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh Keffel's my god. challenge to not use a suicide like victim for fucking content for five minutes. Holy like, shit. They're listening. She moved from the grave anyway, of those people. Nicholas to Oreo's chat so. is now my chat. You're in for the ride. Buckle up. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to start the reaction off. Great. Good. I cannot wait until the Keffel fans get over here. You're looking really beautiful. Thank you. Dude, Keffel's does look pretty good tonight. Like I said earlier, she looks like a cast member on Friends. <laughs> you Frank got banned on Twitter for posting Keem's address. That's bad. Don't post his address, okay? 
That's not a good thing you should do. We're making more moderators. Don't dox people. Start getting people. Doxing's like fucked. Like... People post addresses in this chat. Now that she knows we're streaming, them. all of a sudden a bunch of transphobia <laughs> is gonna come through that's like from her fucking chat, so. Um, yeah, guys, no transphobia, no we're racism. We're modding everybody no that I, that every name I recognize, all hands on deck, no transphobia. All right, quickly, while she's not Wait, here, is, I think she's going to the couples? bathroom. Um, oh. Yeah, Let me know when she's listening to the stream. That I know, and we're gonna. Let me know when she's listening to the stream. No transphobia. Delete any transphobia. Now that she, now that she said this. Hey, don't say that. They're gonna clip that and think it's real. What do you <laughs> mean? No, that's the good stuff, Keen. The no transphobia means ban transphobes. That's what we're looking for. And no, but the way you said it made it seem like people were doing your fans were doing it no, and you're I like oh she's coming no 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 i specifically said she's sending her audience in here and i think that they just fucking jump in and say a bunch of shit and then blame it on me so i'm making sure we know absolutely not we, we did this before the stream even started is that what they do i th I, mean, I don't think that like this many accounts they that do, don't follow me just show up to be a transphobic for no reason they no. they do false flagging uh, <laughs> it's my opinion or, that's, that's the opinion wait no to. that's a false flag like it's a false flag, not false flagging, but you know what I mean. That's yeah, that's the opinion I came to. All right, I think we have enough moderators now to defend against the army of people trying to make me look bad. <laughs> well, I support trans rights. So, that's that's what I want to say. Is she like? I wonder what she's doing. She's either like going to the bathroom or something, or she's going to backtrack on the stream to see what we're saying before she comes back and, and pretends she wasn't watching. So that's good. Um, it's one or the other, really. I could be either. Who knows? We have 640 people on right now. Um, so that's cool. This is what it's like, fucking begging for content. Keffels is a good grift going. Still no DM, by the way. Keffels unblocked me um, and received multiple messages and has yet to DM me. It's crazy. So she considered this this uh, interaction because I mean I was blocked up until today to my knowledge, right? So Keffel's weighed the pros and cons of joining this call and instead decided to lie. <laughs> very very safe. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. She's back. Oh, okay. My God. Polplex. <laughs> He's goes, dodging. Why not just go to her stream? And I it's can't. like it's really she never really really yeah, invited it's me. Sad. It's a troll. Hey, Bo Blex, hey, buddy, fuck off, okay? This is my content. Suck my dick, oh, Bo Blex. Go, no, go to, the, go to the DM, so the group chat that we're in, and please tell Bo Blex how dumb he's being. He's like, I don't understand. Why don't you just I go to her moderate. stream? Like, what? See, I feel like I'm there's no way to convince him to do, like, I don't think there's a way to convince him. She's trolling. I just went to the group she didn't chat and invite me. Bo By the way, Kim, you just leaked our private group chat. Oh, it just, it just seems so like this is a situation. I just told where... you to go to the group chat and t tell Bo Black. I didn't leak did, it. You know? Oh I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's only going to do it if he can get one of his buddies to be in the conversation. So I get dogpiled because he knows oh, like, in a one-on-one yeah, -on -one confrontation dude, dude, with me. Dude, the person that she literally is always gets fucking, fucking idiot, is afraid dude, to talk to me. That's shit. crazy. Literally fucking earlier. Said I'm I would never dogpile you. Wait, why did my camera turn off? Dude, her camera doesn't even want to watch her, bro. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This That's fucked wait, up. Wait, he's, he's on Twitch. He's on uh. He's on Twitch restreaming. Dude, she's got such long pauses. The camera. Wait, that's I, you really, can't even that's say kind of cringe, man. You can't even say that I'm restreaming you. I'm adding so I much content in, to your oh dead God, air. Oh. <sighs> oh my God, Overheat? Nick, I'm gonna have Maybe to leave. I'm heating. bored. Oh, this is so oh, yeah. boring. Fuck, it's hot. Nick, I have stayed long enough, right? She's not showing up, right? Look, I can it, leave. Uh, I mean, sure. I, I think it's just happening. Coming, I, 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 I and mean, that's probably it. Right here, like this that's is probably what's happening. She's didn't show up. Typical stuff. I showed up. We're all right. To trauma farm in your replies. She <laughs> actually invited me to her stream. If she actually like DM me and gave me a link, which she didn't. All right. I don't even have DMs open with her, by the way. Um, I would go. I'm literally burning. But I'm out. so interested in what she has to say. It's like, like literally, she's talk you're... a lot of shit, but it won't be true. <laughs> this is so bad. two million Twitter right. followers. He's leaving. He refuses to do it without his cheerleader. She, like, I mean, dude, 
I'm watching her stream right now, and I have all this time to talk in between. Oh my god. If every Hassan video he watched had this much dead air, he would do fair use reactions. Like, 100%. Wait, no, this isn't real. I literally will mute myself. Join the fucking call. You know, actually, I fact-checked it. This is a real tweet that he actually literally said. Literally fucking photo- like, literally photoshop. Holy shit. This is great. The Wait, Greek is that socialism Grail, done, done left one. cucking um, down shit. show? Jesus. <sighs> There's so much dead air. They're posting Catboy shit again? You know, the worst part about it is that um, I, I, it would be based if there was, like, actually a ranch full of Catboys, and there wasn't. Like... That was so funny. One can such dream, a good joke. right? Yeah, it's such a good joke. One can dream. You got the whole squad laughing with that one. Bro needed a hype man. He did. He needed. He needed a wingman. This is so bad. All right, guys. Um, all right. Unfortunately, looks okay, like it's so not gonna I'm, happen. I'm getting bored. He's oh, restreaming the bored? content, so it's like I know he knows. He can just come on the stream and have a one-on-one -on -one with me. Um. You are such a coward. He literally, all he has to do is say it, and he'll do it, but if he's going to be a chicken shit, there's literally no point. It's just going to be like a back and forth where he needs his buddy, otherwise he fucking pisses his pants, and I'm completely okay doing this on my own, having a conversation with another adult. So why are you looking for another moderator? Because I am one. So, oh my god. Let's move on. Oh, this is so pathetic. Oh, let's move on. Oh, guys, I really I wanted to see. I really wanted to debate Keemstar, but there's Some just the other no stuff way it that could was going work. On. Oh, poor me. Oh, adults scare him. There's no way we could get this done. <laughs> so that's what it seems to be. Yeah. Move on to what? The second you change I'm subjects, you're gonna drop lost. half your fucking viewers. I am too, by the way. But that's what I'm literally telling you. I'm farming. Ugh. Um. The forehead cam. Based. Hold on one. Quick second. Thanks, Kevin. My phone's she needs exploding. To pause. She's been hold talking on. for. Far I gotta be her back long. one sec. I guess we can go through some of the tweets and just hope that things change and that the stream happens. So, recap. I guess we'll do a recap. Then I guess I'll probably end too if she doesn't come on. Or if she stops talking about it. It's kind of a shame. Pretty pathetic if I do say so myself. Um, who was begging to come in before? Was that Aiden Projects? Because I'm not adding him. see i wonder if i get blocked by the end of the night she wants me specifically to unblock her so she can like rapidly quote tweet me um and like brigade me with her fucking uh, what i presume is a discord server could just be her fans but i i don't feel like that's probably true um i think we're all set up now let me just remove this camera until she gets back there we go so, this is the, uh, the conversation. Really fucking cringy. So, Keemstar said I look like a man. I disagree with that take. Uh, I've invited Keemstar onto my stream, and hopefully he'll apologize. Now, Keemstar has said that there are no DMs at all whatsoever that, it, that I'd say this is true. They have never engaged with, uh, in DMs. Hi, Keemstar. 
you said you would be on stream 20 minutes ago. Please respond to your DMs and stop chickening out of talking to me, you coward. Now, this is a clout chase strategy that the clout chaser uses. Someone who's in the past begged, begged for her Discord to go artificially watch her content because nobody wants to watch her YouTube videos. There's, there's no views on that. Um, has had to beg for artificial interaction. Just leave the stream on in the background. Uh, begs for viewers on Twitch so she can sit and posture for an hour, call someone a pussy who she never invited on, and then get all the social credit you can get from that. Um, Keemstar said, you said I was cute in DMs. You said nothing about streaming. I'm a person. Stop using me for content. Keffel says, he said he would come on the stream, and he's pretending he never agreed to this. I knew he didn't have a spine, but I didn't think he was literally a slug. I don't know if there was a Twitter interaction that led off on this where Keemstar said I would go on stream with you, but if there is, my apologies. Uh, Keemstar, bro, what? This is fake news. She hops in my, I guess there were, uh, maybe he's fucking around. Hops in my DMs, calls me cute, and asks me to attack a guy named Destiny. You said nothing, so, I mean... I don't know on that one. Um, I agree to these terms. This is the response to my thing. Uh, you never agreed to needing another man to back you up. Uh, can you talk to a woman one-on-one, -on -one, or are you an incel freak? Now, I don't know. Where, where did Keem... Does anyone have the tweet where Keemstar agreed to any debate at all? Uh, Keemstar has decided he will not go on my stream and talk with me unless it's moderated by an avid Kiwi Farms user. Now, I... I'm just flabbergasted by that one. Um, I, does anyone have any proof of me being an avid Kiwi Farms user? Uh, are there any screenshots that exist? Can you show me my post history? Is anyone who has a, an active link to... I believe the .NET is down at the moment, so we can't get that easy dubber. But um, does anyone have an example of, of anything I've ever posted on Kiwi Farms? Does anyone have my post history? It'd be really interesting, my avid Kiwi Farms post history uh, as a user of the site. That would be interesting. Uh, am I like a, a moderator? Do I run my own thread? Um, am, I, am I the doxer? Am I the doxer? That would be super interesting to know. Um, so then Keemstar sent that video that we heard pre uh, previously on her stream. I'm sitting here waiting for you to show up. I'm not a coward who needs Kiwi Farms incels to back them up in order to talk to a woman. Um, I think you are. I think that you're terrified. Anyone who's seen me moderate a conversation knows that I'm not going to intrude and I'm not going to get involved in it. Um, I got in shit for my moderation. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Let's hear this one. We, we unblocked each other. We have a temporary alliance in what? not blocking each other at this moment. Such a big game when she prepared to debate Keemstar. Now she's just lying to get out of it. Wait, what? We have a temporary alliance. Wait, Is no, I don't need a quote tweet. I'll just, like... This is insane. Why don't you just... Get, well, why don't we chat? I'm, I'm happy to that's talk a to you. Result. That's whatever. I'm happy to chat with Keffels without Keemstar. I don't know. I... I don't... I don't, tr I don't trust like that. You don't trust like that. I mean, like, how else are you going to respond? Uh, maybe you get in the call and debate instead of being a dumb little coward. That'd probably be a good answer. I think that's a pretty solid one on my, on my part. I know that if I was begging for a conversation on Twitter, I would jump Jim in. Jim Marianne, they give it nine months. Um, hold on a sec. What are you looking for? Could it be my DMs? We literally can have a chat right now. She's so fucking slow. Oh, fuck. Wait. What is a hero? Wait a sec. Holy shit. I totally, I totally missed this from earlier. Kanye West talks about... Wait, oh Kanye West God. talks about the Holocaust. This is so ridiculous. All right, I'm not playing Kanye talking about the Holocaust. This is so pathetic. Okay. Okay, Jesus. Gee, like, literally embarrassing. Holy shit. I'm sorry to that one person who was talking about having a... Uh... Oh, yeah, Keffel's. Wait, she had to retweet her own reply just to ensure she gets the ratio. 
Could this person be any more pathetic than they already are? Holy fuck! <laughs> That's great. Send it to the bots too while you're at it. Just my opinion. This is great. Is this a skit she's doing? I don't know. Oh my god, ratio, ratio queen. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna have to ban this chatter specifically, because that's disgusting. Um, I don't know. Well, if she's just going to sit here and posture, put her back where she belongs. At this, the, the mere second that she decides that she wants to have a conversation after all, when the content runs dry for the night and her views drop, I'll be perfectly happy to renegotiate. But, um... Yeah, that's a... Ugh. Gross. Alright, well, I don't know if there's anything else I can do about that. Um, it's kind of a shame. Let's see. Is there anything else, I guess, that we could do? Or I think that's probably it. Sorry, guys. Keffels ran. Did you see Low Tier God was on Destiny? No. Um, weren't you going to talk to somebody else about the H3H3 H3 stuff? I might. It depends. I'm still holding out hope that this is just going to turn around and become free content. I have to work for it tonight. It's bullshit. Um, she's molding so hard. It's pathetic. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well now I am super dead air. She's just talking about Kanye West. I'm turning it off her stream. All right. Um, let's see. New epic rap battle of history is out. I don't think you could have did anything. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think I did all I could there. Are, are you and Augie still working on a video? Augie hasn't really been working on anything, and I haven't been working on it, so definitely not. Um, Copium, she does this thing all the time, just gotta let her die off. That's probably true, yeah. Nick, play some Destiny 2, do gaming. Uh, I think Augie's just sick. He is sick right now. He said he couldn't call because his voice was fucked. Keffels ran. Try going on her stream. I think she said that she wants Keem to be on her stream. Um... I mean, it would be the same, right? Like, if she wants to have... I mean, I'm sure Keemstar would go on if she can hold the mute button over me as well. But uh, I, I don't think that would be f fair to moderate that way. That's not a really... I mean, that's just a cop-out so she can have the mute button for herself. I don't know, like, what what is... So, can we just take... Like, what would be... um, What would be the own there? She can't enter a call with a moderator? What am I going to do, like engage with the conversation that would just make me and keem look bad if we both dogpile her in two on one she gets to walk away saying she won anyway what's the risk to her like wh what is the value that why is she afraid of having a moderator in the conversation one that openly even dislikes her how could i fuck that conversation up for her in such a way that she wouldn't get what she wants out of it i mean what she wants out of it is attention i don't think she has any like legitimate qualms that she wants to debate with keemstar i'm sure she just wanted to get on call him a pedophile five times um and not reach any sort of agreement and just lecture so why can't she do that with me in the call <laughs> sad uh, she had Vosh as a mod during her conversation with Augie. Like, literally, Augie called in to Keffels' stream, and fucking Keffels had to have Vosh there. So it's actually even more hypocritical that she won't join this call. Like, Augie was openly fine with jumping on. And now she's just, like, coping and seething. It's so bad. Um, Jesus. No refs, because that would make it fair. Nick has made more exposed videos on Keemstar than Keffels. Is that true? There's no way Keffels has never made a video of Keem in the title. 
Her viewership is dying. I mean, so is ours. What are we down? We're, we're down to 400, so we drop like 200. I don't really... Well, the viewership is just there for the debate. They don't give a fuck about any of these people. Um, she's going to go live to like 300 people tomorrow. Maximum. Um, that's not going to change anybody's mind. She believes she's smarter than Keemstar. It's about taking on who she believes that she can handle. Sure, I absolutely think that. I absolutely think that the only reason she wanted to talk to Keemstar is the same reason that Hassan wanted to talk to Too Mad. But once the fucking questions started sounding like they came from Destiny, suddenly Hassan didn't want to talk to Too Mad anymore, you know? It's just like once you want to debate somebody that's on some sort of a mutual intellectual level, which I believe I'm much smarter than Keffels. I believe I can have a much better conversation than Keemstar with Keffels. And I'm not even asking for that. I'm not even trying to force my way into a debate. I am just asking to be a humble moderator, collect my fucking content paycheck, grab some super chats, and be a fucking, like, f content fiend for the night. That's all I'm asking for, all right? Keffels is denying a nice working man his paycheck, okay? That's the, that's the problem here, all right? I'm openly content farming the fuck out of this, dude. And I should be getting my, my paycheck. Um, Keffels and Keem boxing match? I don't think that would work. Uh, it was funny, she wanted to compare your YouTube to her YouTube, claiming it's dead without checking her own. That's actually super funny. Um, it's a classic case of trying to stay relevant, because she had the whole Kiwi Farms thing a while back, and now it's done nothing since then, really. I mean, that's all she ever is, is the current issue that we have to care about, and then as soon as her crusade on it is over, suddenly nobody watches anymore. <laughs> It's shocking. It's almost like she's just like a huge virtue signaler. Um, she won't talk to either of you because she can't Photoshop a conversation. I actually think, like legitimately, that if Keemstar wanted to come on by himself, she probably wouldn't even have him on. I'm going to make that claim right now. I legitimately think if Keem went on by himself, which I think Keem was doing a favor by posturing in this chat. I think he just was doing a favor for me getting like fucking free content for the night. I, I, I think that he absolutely could go in there. And the thing is, right... To pre like to pre enter that conversation, go back and watch the beginning of the VOD. All I said was, hey, I'm gonna make sure there's no transphobia in my chat. I'm arming the moderators. And if Keffels brings up the tweet where Keemstar said that Keffels looked like a man as a joke, I'm not defending that. Absolutely, unequivocally, no. I'm not dying on that hill. So the only thing I said going into this conversation was actually pro Keffels. And Keffels is still fucking terrified of having a conversation. It's wild! You can, oh god, an even playing field when I can't fucking mute anybody and fuck it. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't kick him out of my call. It's not an even playing field that way. That's how Keffels thinks. Uh, but instead, we're just gonna lie and smear, post fake fucking messages, <laughs> and then tell everybody that I'm a Kiwi farmer because you're coping and seething. Uh, maybe she'll go the way of uh, Brianna Wu and Anita Sarkeesian and be left in the wind. Oh, absolutely. I don't think anybody's going to know who Keffel is in 10 fucking years. I don't think anyone's going to know who I am in 10 fucking years, but uh, I'm not so fucking be hell-bent on becoming fucking famous that it's like my entire fucking personality. Um... Watch Flame wait, watch Flamenco claim you defended her again on post. That's all he has left, okay? He has to tell me that I'm super uncool to his little post buddies. That's all I can do. Uh, remember to go back to having the regular mods. I mean, do you want me to unmod you? I don't think you were a mod, New Jersey Trash Boy. Do you want me to take it away? Um, she's trying to ride the H3 fan base by t taking shots at Keem? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. She's just trolling you and wasting your time. The only one coping and seething is you. Uh, I'm literally farming right now. I I'm getting a free stream out of this. This is like the best thing ever. Um, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna post it on YouTube. And if I post this vod and she doesn't post her end of it, or if she does post her end of it, mine's gonna have more views on my second channel. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, hey Nick, do you remember the day when you're on the morning decay? Glad you're doing well. I miss that shit. I think those guys hate me now. I, I don't think Optic hates me, um, but he's probably mad I haven't done art with him in a while. Um, I haven't really done art with anybody in a while. But I think Broski fucking hates me now. It was a good show. I used to listen to it every morning at my old job. Um, have you checked your tone recently? Maybe it scares her. Jesus Christ. Her stream just dropped 200 people after switching to Kanye. Yeah. I mean, if I switch to Destiny 2, you know how many fucking viewers I'm? I'll be down to 150. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, believe me, I'm not throwing stones with Twitch viewers, right? This is like my tertiary platform. I'm not pulling the number race over here. She definitely pulls more than me on Twitch, all right? That's a that's a sure given fact. All right. I think this this stream easily has over 1k on my second YouTube channel easily. All right, I don't think it has, it's not going to happen here. Um, now that I don't hate you, Broski and Optic had a major falling out, which is why the show died. Ah, oh, shit. I think, I really think Broski hated me. He was talking hella shit recently. D2 streams are peak content. Um, yeah, true. Flamenco is pathetic as well. Agree with that default. Um, thoughts on the Etika comment? I, I mean, I don't know. She's just a grimy, shitty person. This is what she did with the whole uh, Kiwi Farms thing. She stood in the grave of a bunch of dead trans people. Uh, and virtue signaling using their stories to try to take down a website and be a big villain and try to like turn that whole hate wave on destiny. That was why the Kiwi Farms thing happened. The reason why she like engaged this whole war with Kiwi Farms is because she was trying to like disingenuously tie destiny to a bunch of shit they said or did on the Kiwi Farms website. That's literally it. It was a whole thing about Destiny. That's why she got banned from Twitch that day, because she was streaming about how Kiwi Farms and Destiny are related, and these are the things that people on Kiwi Farms say. Guilt by association. That's what happened. Can't argue with it. That's facts. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. Keffels has ratioed me. We lost it. We lost this one, boys. Um, dude, when Nick confronted Flamanco on Augie's stream a while back, it was so funny. Yeah, I think farming Flamanco was fun for a while. Uh, we had a private conversation a few weeks ago. I was hoping he'd record it and leak it, because I sounded so good, but it's a shame. Don't think it's there. Um, I don't know. It's just so sad. It's so sad and so pathetic. The thing is, she was talking about how we were restreaming her, and I think I was saying more words per minute than she was, if you go back and count. I think you could. The Etika comment blew me away. Like, who does she think she is? A huge virtue signaler who stands on the graves of people to try to get her way. That's literally it. People hear dead, and then they go, oh my god, that's so bad. Holy shit, dude. Uh, and they don't actually connect A to B. They don't know the whole story. They don't care about the whole story, all right? Uh, they, they just hear that, and they go, wow, X is bad. Yeah. Um... Streets are saying flamenco made demon noises in that pro I mean, I wasn't there, but I'm the streets. I'm the one who's saying it. I got that info from Augie. Dead air reminds me of a Tonka stream. I mean, she's basically Tonka. Why don't you step up to... Like, yeah, dude, you're trying to step up to Kethel's? Sure, all right. But then she fucking ran from the fight. She's literally like Tonka. Lies like Tonka. Why are you using someone's death to tee own? Exactly. Exactly. You can't even, like... There, there's no such thing as a non-fair use Keffel's react. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. He unblocked me. I call. I said you are literally Italian, and then he blocked me again. Yeah, because you're fucking, you're fucking around. Get on the stream. <laughs> Get on the stream, Keffel's. Let's chat. Let's have a chit-chat, Keffel's. <laughs> Get on, Keffels. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she moved her camera. I have to set up my whole thing again about this. And it transform bottom. Let's go. Oh, come on. 650. Okay. <laughs> now her God, fucking it. camera Why does my camera again. keep overheating? She brought you on to stir some drama and get views. Absolutely. The numbers the numbers drop below 800. We need Nick on the uh we need Nick on the screen. Overheating. This is so. This is so sad. This is so sad. Well, why don't you come chat with me? All right, I'm changing my stream name. All right. I'm just like. You missed the start of the interview when Kanye was talking about engineering humans in the All right, the, the name of the stream is Keffel's Debate I didn't, in 20 Minutes, all right? Keffel said I, she was I, I, I only saw the clip, and it was too much. It's like, how do you... He's still doing... He's still streaming my stream? Yep. Not really afraid... Like, I'm not really surprised that a Kiwi farmer would be a stalker, but <laughs> it, it's kind, that's kind of what they do. That's their whole thing. 
<laughs> that's all you got. You gotta use the Kiwi Farms wave because it's the only reason you're fucking relevant right now. You have to call back to it. You have to remind people that's why they fucking subscribed. Oh yeah, that's why. Style, We're mad at that website three. that goes up every day. Asterisk Princess Foul, Asterisk Princess Foul, Asterisk Guy, Tier 3, Asterisk Subscription. Oh, someone in chat, Paraglobalism, wait, she showed up? No, Italian no, she didn't show up, Paraglobalism. She's so fucking me. slow on her stream, it sounds like I'm replying to her in real time. That's just her fucking stream dead air. Stream streaming you. Okay. Uh, what's the link? I'm, I'm blocked on Twitter again. Except he has me blocked on, like, every single account I have access to. You have my fans blocked on every, like, literally every single one of them. That's so crazy that you're yeah, I can't even I can't I can't even grab that link. It's my name. You just copy and paste my name. I, it's the URL. Oh, I see. Cool, I'm here. Oh you good. Let's, let's now see we're what he's up to. Reaction. Perfect. Keffels, hello. Um, let's see. Do 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 do. He's up good to reaction. Perfect. That's what he Caffles. sounds like. Hello. Um, let's see. Hi, Caffles. Damn. How He's are you? Reaction. Perfect. We're finally having That's that piece of debate. Like? Hello. Um, Hi, Caffles. Damn. How He's are you? Reaction. Perfect. We're finally having That's that piece of debate. Like? Hello. Um, Wait. Now all I need Hi, to Caffles. do is get Keemstar yeah. in the call. How are you? Reaction. Perfect. We're Wait, Keem, get back in. It's happening. It's happening. Wait. Now all I need to do is get Keemstar in the call. How are you? Reaction. Perfect. We're Wait, Keem, get back in. It's happening. It's happening. Wait, now all I need I to do is get Keem saw yeah. in the call. How are you? Action. Perfect. We're Wait, Keem, get back in. It's happening. It's happening. Wait, now all I need I to do is get Keem saw yeah. in the call. How are you? Action. Perfect. We're Wait, Keem, get back in. It's happening. It's happening. Wait, now all I need to do is get Keem The longer I wait, the more viewers you'll lose. Perfect. I don't care. Oh, Keem, you there? Keem, Keffles is on. Say what you want to Keffles. Keem, you there? Keem, Keffles is on. Say what you want to Keffles. Keem, Keffles is on. Hello? How are you doing, Keem? Is Keffles actually on? Yeah, Keffles is on. She can hear you right now on her stream. Hello? How are you doing, Keem? Oh, on her stream. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Couples actually. Well, yeah, Couples is on. She can hear you. Hi, Couples. Uh, I'm going to go to my computer and I'll get on the right way okay. so I can actually hear you. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, Couples is on. She can hear you. Hi, Couples. Uh, I'm going to go to my computer and I'll get on the right way so I can actually hear you. Awesome. Well, yeah, Couples is on. Hi, Couples. Uh, I'm going to go to my computer and I'll get on the right way so I can actually hear you. Awesome. Well, yeah, Couples is on. She can hear you. Awesome. Well, yeah, Couples is on. She can hear We finally got the big debate we were looking for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we. F All right. Now she's just listening to me, so I get to pick and choose when I want to fucking make it ads. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So Keemstar is coming in a in a second right now. Gonna jump on in his computer. Oh, she left. She fucking ran. <laughs> ran Wait, again. this is a this is a troll. She ran again. <gasps> No, you're trolling. Dude, she, she literally just here. ran again. <laughs> Thank you all so Why much. Why are you playing um, games, bro? I fucking me. came over my to my computer, thing. grabbed a nice little soda pop. Keem, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> that, was, that was a crazy debate. You're joking. She didn't um, run. She was she never did. here. No, you know? no, she was restreaming my end. She could hear Keem us pulled a lot of punches. It. I did not expect that he oh would pull. Oh, my God. And I think uh, we did great. All right, one minute. Let me get to your Twitch. I'm so mad. She did put out a funny tweet. She goes, Keemstar said that I was pretty because my pussy is younger than 18 years old. <laughs> 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 That's pretty fucking Does good. I'm Discord not going to lie. Content mines? I haven't done any React Andy in like so long. Um, this is so bad. So what else happened while I was gone? Uh, so Keffel's lost Wait. 200 viewers the second she turned on Kanye, and then after that, uh, she went over to like start talking. 200 about my viewers Twitter. the second oh, oh, she turned here, on Kim. Kanye, and then after Kim, that, uh, she went over to like. Hi Keffel's, how you doing? Oh, she she turned here, on Kanye. I'm over here in this disgusting Kiwi Farm fans uh, Twitch. I don't want to be here. Disgusting. <laughs> 
Ian's uh, uh, ear. Nick, were you ever on Kiwi Farms? Were you actually Dude, on I'm that a big site? Kiwi Farms post. I'd love to see my post history if she wants to show it. Wait, you yeah, really yeah. did? No, that's the joke. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, I didn't think you'd ever be yeah, on Kiwi never Farms. Never on Kiwi Farms. Never in my life. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? I've never been on there either. It's kind of weird. I was though. Wait, so she's willing to now platform you, platforming big Mr. Transphobic Nazi Keemstar, right? But she's I not was, willing to I was, chat with you. It's wild. I was shocked that um, that Destiny was on Kiwi Farms. Is that true? Was he really on there? Yep. Why did he go on there? To my knowledge, he was chatting with his like his thread. Like he was talking shit to people in his thread. Did, oh. I thought you watched the stream. I did, but like I was playing. So I watched uh, Destiny's manifesto on Keffels. And by the way, he owned you, Keffels. Like he really owned you. That's has she responded to it or no? Um, not publicly, to my knowledge. I think it was just. Uh, I think she made like a. I'm debating Destiny on my stream tonight. Like actually, kind of the same virtue signally fucking attention seeking move that she did tonight. Oh look! Oh I well, have, I don't. I have such epic arguments, but I can't get in a call with a person on mute to discuss them. Oh, look, look, they're Damn. running from me. They're running from me. Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. Keffels is on her fortress arc, all right? Vosh will debate Keffel... Destiny before she'll join this fucking call. Keffels is fun, though. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Keffels is fun. Yeah. Um... Is... She's a troll. Like, she's just, fun. she's Keffels a troll. Is fun. Yeah. Um, um... Yeah. Wait, that's why wait, I don't Keffels, understand. Wait, like, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. Keffel's open multiple tabs, so all the audio is overlaid on her stream, but I have her muted, so it's not affecting me. That's actually so funny. So she's just tanking her fucking stream and not mine. I mean, Weird. sure, do this all night if you want. You're back up to 800 viewers, so I guess it worked. I did support her trolling the quartering. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, well, Jeremy was like a fucking retard about it. <laughs> Can you say that word on Twitch? Hell yeah. Oh, wow. Hassan Piker said Good it job. in the last 12 months, which means it's fair game. <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> That's the rule, okay. Um... What did Keffels do with all the money that she got? Remember she raised it's all the money because she had to... When you sue the shit, I'm kidding. Uh... <laughs> It's for justice. It's for justice. She needed that hundred thousand dollars so she could take some money out of her own pocket and travel across the fucking country if, to fake flee the country. The only way I would even like think about suing Kaffels is if like people took what she said serious. Now nah, there's no reason if to it, sue Kaffels. She lives in fucking Canada. If it, if it ter well, it doesn't matter, uh, you know. But I'm saying like if like some company was like oh we don't want to work with you keemstar because you're a pedophile i'd be like but well, i'm not and then if they're like no like a very credible person keffel said so then like that would be the only situation no, would be like i'm just i'm against these fucking lawsuits in general i think you should just call the show and have a nice funny fucking debate and give me all the content that i deserve all right i'm that, fucking that would... i'm fiending tonight all right keffel's got her fucking her taste of the fucking 782 viewers that she's farming off of you right now and i'm farming back motherfucker i get free content don't take this away from me yeah but right. what are you talking about nick she only has 700 viewers doesn't she normally have like thousands no she normally has less <laughs> less than what oh really about. yeah i thought i thought keffels was a popular streamer keffels no is a popular streamer when she baits for attention this is the attention it's currently being baited <laughs> Listen, Nick, you you guys can all hate Keffels all you want, but I I appreciate the troll. Like I I, I, I do too. To an extent I do as well. I appreciate the Keffels troll. No one trolls anymore. Yeah. Nobody trolls anymore. And I don't care if I'm the butt of her little joke. Like I appreciate it. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> I wish you would just I'll join play the along. Call. It would be nice. I'll, it would be a fun I'll night. talk to her. I I know. I don't know. Um, I, I made, like, so many little uh, moderators tonight to nuke all the transphobia that would come in from just Twitter joining into the stream. I did so many nice things for Keffels. And she's forsaken me by do... lying about me on the social medias. 
I'm sad. Should we do Should we do a Keemstar uh, show podcast and announce that Keffels is coming and then just call her and have her not answer? Oh, like, I already I don't stole know. your joke. I called Keffels debate in 20 minutes my title. So I already did it. It's been done. Lamau, you've been owned. Will Keffels come on and yeah, play Sea Thieves with us? Can we sell yeah, but you're n- yeah, but Nick, you're not Keemstar. Like, what? The, the debate's not with you. <laughs> it's with me. I know, that's Fuck. why I announced it was with me, because that's what she does. She fakes debates bro, and wha- announces it once Bro, <laughs> her fans are in here. They're like, Keem, you gotta join her stream. What? What? How do I join? You How understand I that if I, like, jump in and defend Keemstar, like, he just looks shitty, right? Like, you still win? I'm just... I just want money. Let me fucking stream it. <laughs> this is so bullshit. Uh, 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 Very professional me. of you. I don't know. Can Bring in Keffels so we can play Sea of Thieves and we can sail the high seas together. Yo, uh... Can you tell people to go to her chat or no? That's no, like no, 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 no. I'm asking. I don't know the rules. No, the rules All are right? no. Don't do that, please. I don't know <laughs> the rules. We're under heavy I scrutiny don't... tonight, Keemstar. Don't even... <laughs> if you think something I... might be bad, text it to me first. No, 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 no. <laughs> All I was saying is, like, if we asked her to, like, play a game, that would still be breaking the rules if we're not harassing her or anything? No, she's listening, I think, right? Since the Nick is a you-know-what user. Because she's pulling up your stream and sending traffic True. to your stream, but isn't she breaking the rules then, if you can't do that? No, no, she's allowed to react to the stream. Alright, I think Mart, she's... Mart, actually, thank listening. you for... Thank you for that. Oh, God. I will not concede, okay? We'll do this all fucking night, alright? Uh, Keem is nothing better than I'm, to give me content, alright? Nothing better to do. I have way better stuff. To, I was like Keep literally making designs. That, right? Don't tell them that. I was making designs Whoa, for Teddy Steele's. Look at that. Look what she put on my stream. She got to put a little lower, Keffles. <laughs> a little lower. It's cut off. Keffles. Wait, Keffles, Keffles. You cut it off where it just says a pedophile uh, above your head. Spill. Wait, it's, a wait she spill. cut it wrong. She cut it wrong, so it just said a pedophile on her head. That's so funny. <laughs> it says Keemstar is a pedophile. I'm a pedophile. <laughs> there you go, you got it. <laughs> hey, round there, of applause. Like That's great. She, okay, hold on. She got her slander out That's correctly. <laughs> hold on, I got it. I got this. I got this. There you this go. This is so dumb. This is like Xbox Live that, that trolls. Like, that covers my bases, <laughs> I think. It's always a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Okay, Nick, that's that's really funny. Because like, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so fucking juvenile. This is. <laughs> uh, you I are, feel like I'm. Uh, I feel like a little kid. Like, <laughs> dude, the, the funny thing is, like, I'm talking. I just so much saw shit. someone oh, absolutely- in Nick's chat say, "I'm sorry, I can't." I you can't broke stay up. You because what? I keep looking at Keffel's boobs. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, hold on, I'll let you hear. I'll let you hear. Oh, God. You hate to see it. Wait, what? Somebody Did said we, we have something? a simp in our. We have a simp in the chat. There's a simp. I've tempted here. him to sin. There's a simp in our chat. Ban the simp. All right, we will not have that in this chat. Oh, that's so. Funny. What is she? What is she saying? I can't hear her. Uh, now you can. I just screen shared it, so you can jump in. But um, what is she saying? She was saying that there's somebody in the chat who is staring at her boobs. From our chat. <laughs> We're staring at... Uh... Uh, uh, oh, she put Keemstar is good at sex? Beast! <laughs> I, they put it's opposite day, so I put Keemstar is good at sex. <laughs> oh, no, no. What is this? No, they this? got rid of it. They owned me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I gotta put this quick not. Really okay, I you got fucking. Right you now. got fucking. Dragged Dude, we are time. literally having. <laughs> we are having literally a tax war. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's How are you gonna recover from on. that one? Oh, I, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Wait. <laughs> here, here, here. here. Get her, Nick. Come on, hurry up. Time faster. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Hold on. I... Oh, God. 
no one's. Team is not Wait. <laughs> Wait. No. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. We're better than you, Kethels. Almost, we are I better than you. you. Yo, we're. Because they fucked put, her they up. Put, no one says. So I put Keemstar as a pedophile. But if I kept it up, they would have taken it away. Oh, I did, motherfucker. I beat you. You can't win. Your own game. <laughs> okay, you're not oh. winning this one. Me and my um. Uh, what's the name of the site with all the okay, bad people? You're not winning this one. Uh, me, and now, my, uh, <laughs> me and my, me uh, and my, uh, what is it? Strawberry Fields are beating your ass. Strawberry Fields. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is the doxing site? Honestly, they're getting blown the fuck out. Like, Not they only really that, should have to change their name to Strawberry piece Fields. Of shit literally fucking earlier said. Me and, me and the, the Strawberry the Fields camera. hacker are is 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 better than you. Oh my god, she felt my mom's titties? She's dead too. Oh god. I don't know. Can she... we top that, Keem? Is there anything we can do? I think we might take the L here. I felt Keem's mom's titties. No, we'll, we have a comeback to that. How about... Here. Oh, dude, that's... This is... this. Is, I'm stumped. I am stumped. I hate consent. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Hey, she 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 sexually <laughs> assaulted my mommy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. She's going hard in the paint. Hurry up, Nick. Wait, I Stop can't see her. it. I can't see it. She's not on the screen. She is slandering me. What is she saying? <laughs> she said... Wait, what is going oh, on? There's too many screams. Us. She got us. She got us good. God damn it. She... Just get in the fucking call. I want money. I think... I think Kuffles... <laughs> I think Kuffles likes me. Dude, that's why she's scared. She knows that you guys will be friends after the conversation. I think we'll get along. Oh god. You know how I only oh, oh, I, I only res I only respect the troll. <laughs> Here, hold on, wait. Okay, got you. I got you, Caffles. Right where I want you. Hold on. Dude, this dude put in chat, he's like, I'm so high and I'm dying. I'm laughing too, and this is so dumb. <laughs> this is the dumbest shit ever, and probably the most fun I've had in a minute online. Oh, come on! You fucked it up, Keffels. God damn it. You fucked it up. Go back. Put it back. God damn it. She, I, she I said, I'll really stay, please. I'll say, please. What does that mean? Oh, God. Nick, respond quick. I'll say, please. Before I you say something bad, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, she she's conceded. She is conceded. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> I don't, guys. I'm literally in the call, and I don't know who's putting the text on either Keffels or Nick. I don't know who's doing what. Nichols. <laughs> Nicholas will unblock me if I join the stream. This doesn't make sense. What do you mean? I'll unblock Keffels if she joins the stream. You already unblocked her and invited her, right? No, I reblocked her after she fucking baited me. She just baited me. All right. I'll well, why do you her have? Why? Do, why do you have this lovely, uh, beautiful young lady blocked? Because she fucking trolled me, bro. I was epically trolled. I've unblocked Why? her now. Fucking DM me and send you Discord. Yeah, but yeah, but how did she troll you? Well, she trolled me by unblocking me and then not joining the stream. Oh, so she had you blocked first. We were we both had each other blocked, as far as I know. Well, she had me blocked. Why? I don't know if she unblocked me before. Well, that. give me the backstory. Why were you guys blocked? Why did you guys have each other blocked? One of the, I never one blocked of the 50 her. Twitter confrontations that we've had since before the Kiwi Farms arc. I was blocked for well, the whole thing. J on record, uh, I do not have Keffels blocked, and she does not have me blocked. Keffels was on like three minutes ago. Oh, 
I literally said you can bring a debate partner, okay? Keemstar can take the L on that one. If you bring if you bring a debate <laughs> I'm in here to moderate. If you want to yes. 2v1 Keemstar, I'm making the same money. Um I will I will I will battle Keffels if you can hear me right now. I will battle you and another beautiful uh lady. I will I have no problem taking two girls on at once. Someone said Keffels will only debate if it's on her channel. Listen, okay? She's streaming it too. It's also on her channel. The only person here who has no power is Keemstar because he's not live. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a I don't have a stream, bro. I'm just here. I'm participating for the content. Can I untime Michael Alberto? No, not right now. <laughs> Keffels is messaging me. Oh. Fuck me. I just saw a DM, and it's fucking paraglobalism. I thought that one was Keffel. Oh, wait, I think I actually, wait, this might be on me. I might have to tweet her. No, I, do I have to follow her? If Keffel's blocks me right now, I'll actually cry. This actually on me, I think. Oh, my Get God. So, so today, Mr. Beast's company um, was valued at $1.5 billion making Mr. Beast the first uh, YouTube billionaire. And this dude, <laughs> this dude responds, seems like a pretty uneducated tweet from an ap economic standpoint. A billionaire is someone whose net worth assets minus liabilities is valued over a billion dollars. Being a major shareholder in a company that combined for a billion dollar evaluation is not the same. No shade to Jimmy in the slightest. Just saying, there's a massive difference. And this is misinformation, assuming that the basis keeps going on, which it looks like it is. Bro, there's like a couple articles that came out that his company's valued at 1.5 billion. So I just trusted those reporters. <laughs> like, why are you coming at me so hard, bro? Hello, Nick? I'm, I'm, we're engaging in conversation. Who is? Did you have me muted or something? No. <laughs> this is just stupid. <laughs> what is she saying? Yo, all right. Is Keffel's listening to me? Can she hear me? Eck? Hello? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, can you see the stream chat or whatever? I We're streaming. Me and her are talking in DMs, so you're missing it. I'm trying to okay. get her in the stream. Well, tell, can Keffles hear me right now? I don't know. Probably. Okay. Keffles. Listen, shorty. Slide into the DMs. Give us the, give us the number. Let's get on the phone and, and talk this one out. This is straight to you. Beautiful. You think that got to her? I don't know. <laughs> Keemstar really do be flirting right now. <laughs> <laughs> she broke the golden rule. I'm not leaking DMs, technically, because they were already released by the time that I got in. Dude, any joke I make here is I have to really be careful. <laughs> oh man. Brantley! This girl is hitting on me! Dude, your girlfriend's gonna get hella mad. She's not gonna get mad, but she can fight. <laughs> She can fight. Yo! Let's set up Keffels versus Brantley in a boxing match. Oh, no, Brantley is so down. That'd be good. Does Keffels fight? What? Okay. Oh, Keffels can I'm fight gonna have Brantley? To, I'm going to have to leave, Nick, unless you start talking to me. I'm just sitting here. I can't hear anything by myself. <laughs> what do you mean? No, you're not leaving. It's happening. Is she coming in? I think so. What are you guys saying in the DMs? 
We're just writing random shit. Can you read the conversation to me? All right, I'll read the whole conversation to you. Uh, Oh, hey, what's an Italian like you doing in a place like this? Are you a a, a menagia cake? I don't know what that is. I'm not Italian enough. Wait, you're American. Never mind. Aren't you a Wonder Bread Wop? Uh, You're breaking, and I wrote, you're breaking the golden rule by leaking my DMs. She said, it's not leaking if you could see the DMs on screen. I leak my own DMs, too. Uh, Then I said, you're making me leak my own DMs. This is unfair. Send Discord. Then she said, being bored uh, Italian is unfair. Neither of us asked. So if you're wondering if she's Italian, she is. Um, And I said, Keffel's joined the stream. Then she said, aren't you going to take me out for dinner first? I would like to be wine and dine before getting fucked by two men. Then I said, wait, stop, LMAO. If I'm just moderating, you're calling me a cock. Chill. And then she said, you like women, right? All right, well, Keffels, this is a big turnoff. You're being way too forward. Um, you're taking it way too far. Slow the game down a little bit. It makes, you know, for me anyways, a woman being way too forward is very unattractive. So slow down a little bit. And by the way, all three of us are Italian. Uh, my people are from Sicily. Let me just grab this. This is a pretty solid meme Reno right here. Keem, read it. You're banned, bitch. What? I'm not banned. What are you talking about? I'm going to go watch Keffel's stream. Nick's stream is boring. Oh, fuck. I made a typo. I just lost. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I have to think. I got to get the, the, the content. I'm calling her a terminally left swipe. Okay. Did Keem leave? I'm about to. I'm bored. What does left swipe mean? Like Tinder. You swipe left if you don't want to fuck somebody. Oh, yeah. I would swipe so left. I called her terminally unfuckable. As a fat person, I think I have the right to do that. <laughs> Dude, Keffels, if you could hear me right now, Nick is so full of shit, he would fuck you. Have us if, if, if you wanted that. If you wanted that. With consent and love. Is she talking or is she listening? Medical. Unless, again, the call. All right, I'm going on the fucking call. Yo, let's go! Oh, this is great. We finally... Dude, we finally made it happen. Chat. She's coming on, Kim. Sweet. I can't wait to meet the Keffels. Bro. I finally got content. This is great. This is fantastic. Keem, after all this setup, if you get destroyed, it's going to be one of the most embarrassing things in history, okay? I just want you to know that I was serious about not joining into the debate. You're on your own, buddy. You're fucked. I don't even know what the debate is about. (laughs) (laughs) What's the debate about? We'll figure it out when we get there, all right? The real debate is, is what we... The real debate... Is the fucking friends we made along the way, King? Hey, That's what the hey, real deal is. I really, I, I really hope she invites Ethan to the call. I got Bro, a lot of stuff to say it's to him. Fucking debate time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's texting somebody. Oh, this is good. She's texting somebody. She's trying to do. She's trying to bring someone else into the call. Bro. For I'm sure. fucking stoked right now. I'm ready. All right. I'm about to farm so much content, dude. <sighs> this is great. So is she coming? I think so.
Wait, are they are they here? What is here? Are we going to your Oh we're actually going to Kefla's stream? <laughs> Wait, she actually conceded Wait, that? They, okay. Wait, how do we get into her thing? Do we have a link? No, that's that's the troll. She acts okay, like so you were invited, but apparently she, she it never seems invites like they're you. Debating about whether or not it's I'm just, actually we're not allowed. going on her show, dude. She's not gonna give you a link to join. No, she's gonna give us a link. There's no way she would lie to us like that. Ever. The, the whole premise, Nick. Yeah, are you no, that stupid? The, the whole premise stream. of I'm this was her acting Wait, like she invited me. Call? I don't know. Give me the link. It's a call, dude. Nick, I am not gonna fall for your bullshit. All right, all right listen. I'm sending I her my Discord. Okay, we're changing. We're changing. I the understand, Nick, that you're trying Wait, to make content on, here, but I'm not gonna on, sit Nick. here you when she doesn't join on, the call, or we don't get a link. link to join her call. So stop playing around. Like she's clearly joking. No, she's not joking. We're doing this. This is happening. I'm getting my content. What? No. Okay. I'm, well, she's Nick, not joking. if I believe her, I believe all Nick, of if I, me, Nick, no, if I, if I don't get into a call with her, right, I'm go. fining you five hundred dollars. You want to make can't that find bet? Find me. I'm, I'm gonna work for you. What are you talking? D about? Okay. D do you want to make a bet right, that we don't right. get? If she doesn't join the call, okay, then you have to uh -huh. find Salvo five hundred dollars. Okay. No, right, no, no, no. If she doesn't join the call, then how about this? Why don't you She's text adding me. me right now. You're literally, Keem, you're Weasley. You're Weasley right now, all right? You're trying to get out of it. I'm getting Keffels in. I'm not trying to get out of it. She is trolling you, you idiot. She's not trolling. She, she said she added me, all right? I have to scroll through my list all right. of Discord. Okay, let's go. Let's... Okay. Could you, could you please text there, me or it's DM here. me? It's here. I have, I have her invite. Okay. All right, make I'm it happen. I'm adding Keffels to the call. It's happening right now. Okay, so I added awesome. um, Nicholas, and I'm waiting on getting added to the oh, call. Oh, here we go. It is not happening yet. I added awesome. um, Nicholas. I see it ringing. Keffels is joining. All right, how do I find the fucking mute button? Okay. Hello, how's it going? Hi, Keffels. Finally. I Wait, What's so up? What's up, Keffels? Not I'm much. so glad I I'm so glad I get to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to talk to you too, Keemster. Um Keemster. I wanted I wanted to ask because like Nicholas was like dodging me, you know. And it's like I'm not I'm not trying to hit on you. Like I was just trying because like, I assume you're straight. What you come off on. to me like Wait, you're why straight. Why are you assuming I, my fucking sexual? I have a pretty good Jesus, game, Keffels. You, know? you don't come off like you're gay. You're saying it's just my I mean, masculine energy I give, I give off, you know, like. Yeah, Damn. I mean, like Augie comes off like a twink in a bottom, but I think that, that is know. true. I'm really good at this okay, stuff. I know these things. Yeah. That is so true. And Keffels, did you know that when Augie started his career, he would stream from the closet, and recently he's come out of the closet. That is a fact. Oh, that's true. Um, I like picking up like really tiny guys and like putting them in closets so they're forced to come out, and then I make fun of them for being gay. <laughs> something but so wait wait so nicholas yes so like let's say you have a wife right sure like would you like you think it would be hot like if she had sex with other women what am i participating no but you could watch like would you watch if your wife had sex with another woman no that's weird if i'm not participating why not because that's the whole joy of a threesome is to fuck both of them if I, what if you just like watch? Like, what's wrong with that? If I want to go it's get off the two people fucking, I mean, why don't I just watch porn? You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like uh, I don't know. It's is cuck the right term in that scenario? If you're not participating and just Keen, watching, you're supposed to be fucking moderating. What are you? Well, doing? yeah, because it's like someone's fucking your wife. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. That's weird. I mean, yeah, if we're like Bunty poly or King. something, but I'm not poly. It feels like a Bunty King situation. True. <laughs> Do you know Bunty King? Like, I, I don't. I'm confused, though. Like, Nick, like, I would watch your wife fuck someone. I don't know why you wouldn't. But then that, wait, I just said I would watch porn. So if you're just watching two Why would you watch porn? Fuck, like, if there's two the women having sex in the same... You're like, if so, so it's like you have a wife and your wife is having sex with another woman, you're going to be like, you know, I, you do this, I'm going to go jerk it off to porn in the other room. No, I wouldn't have my wife go fuck somebody else in the house. Why? Because I'm not like into that. I can go listen to my J. Cole album in my room. I don't have to go to the fucking concert. 
Why not? Well, Cuffles, what is your yeah. preference in that scenario? Oh, I oh no, I'm I'm totally. I would I would uh, I would let someone cuck me. That's fine. Damn. I have no problems in this situation. So interesting. Um, just to get on topic here, what did you want to chat about uh, with Keemstar today? <laughs> oh, um, why did you say I look like a man? It's not nice. I didn't say you looked like a man. You did, and then you deleted the tweet. Dirty. No, 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 no. You said I look like a guy that would date rape a woman, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I said to you, I said you look like a guy. Oh, oops, my bad. Hat, and then I corrected it, woman. And then I forgot my fucking joke. Yeah, but then why? Then why did you just delete the tweet? Why would you finish it after saying you? Didn't remember the joke. Beca because I figured you would like try to turn it into some transphobic bullshit. So then I remembered my joke, which was, you look like a woman that wears Axe body spray. And that was a zinger. I mean, yeah, I'm just, like, I have to when I'm fucking your mom because it's like your dad's gone and she needs... My mom died her too. She died in 2012 and you just touched her breast? No one else was. What is up with you and all my dead relatives? I can't help myself, you know? I walk by the Keemstar family cemetery every day, and it's just like, it's too tempting. I haven't been there in a minute, but when we did go there, Brantley, my girlfriend, she did like this prayer to my mom, which was so cute. <laughs> She's like, hey, Mama Keem, uh, we have COVID. I didn't meet you, but I wish I would have got to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it was precious. Who who installed the bouncy castle like in the Keemstar family cemetery? I was confused by that one. That's a good joke. We don't have one, though. You, know, you haven't Cuffles. been there in a minute. I was just there. <laughs> good one. Um, I am so curious because... I don't really follow this uh, political stuff that much, so I don't. I don't really know. I do know that you and Destiny beef, right? And so Nick's like really into your guys's feud, and he talks about it all the time. So I'll see stuff on Twitter, but I don't really know that many details about it. So Destiny did this uh, manifesto or whatever on you, and I'm playing Rocket League, and I'm listening to it, and it seemed from his perspective. Now I didn't hear your response. He hmm. owned you. What did, did he get he? wrong? And the thing I was listening to, it was like he had facts and facts and facts. Of course, I didn't hear your rebuttal. I have, I mean, I have better facts. So I don't know what else to say about that one. I mean, that's, that's a really good response. Like if we were in a court of law and they were like judging this and there was a whole jury and stuff and you were like, well, I have better facts. I think you would win. I mean, yeah. But if, like, if it was a court of law, I feel like the person who is making these arguments would be a neutral third party, you know, someone who doesn't know me or has an axe to grind on against me, you know? Well, that is true. You two have been fighting and he's really out to get you and you're really out to get him. But what's it about? Like, what does the beef stem from? Um, I, I think it's just that we've been mad at each other for so fucking long that it just like doesn't stop. But like, I, you know, I'm a changed person. Um, I'm ready to move on with my life, and I'm ready to move to greener pastures. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit. Good for you. I felt that. There's been so many estrogen. like shifts in my career where I'm like, dude, I'm done with that shit. He, like, <laughs> how often do you play Rocket League? Every day. Why do you play? I haven't played in a while. Shut Can up. I play Let's Rocket play. League? Let's play. I'll play oh, Rocket fuck League. Fuck yeah, I've always wanted to play Rocket League with a pedophile. Let's fucking go. Fucking earlier I'm so you're excited. So, you're so stupid for that. Every time you say that, that you call me a pedophile, I always like see you and envision you as mad because that's like far. No, I just think it's funny. I don't know, dude. I, I, every time I see you say that, I'm like, she's mad. You're not no, mad? I think it's just like people read things into text because I'm not actually mad. Interesting. Yeah, as I am not. I, I'm the other thing I want to ask you about that I know somewhat about, because I don't really follow that much, but I do know the thing where people were harassing you and I defended you, um, the doxers and all, the, all those people, right? Oh, no, <clears throat> that was funny. Well, I, I hardcore defended you, but 
you raised money to go into witness protection, and then I seen you like camming up at VidCon, and I'm like, oh, at TwitchCon. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah I had like, security with me the entire time I was there, though. Yeah, but I always thought to myself, I'm like, if people are really out to get you and you're in hiding, you're like live streaming like at VidCon. Like, I feel like you're like you're oh, yeah. not really in hiding. Well, I hi- I wasn't at that point. Like, I hired um, a security consulting firm. And I was basically like, do you think things have chilled at this point? And they're like, yeah, probably. And they were right. Nothing bad's happened. And since I came back to Canada, nothing bad's happened. There's like eventually a point I had to just go back to my life, right? Like people can't be like perpetually fucking pissed at me. Well, I, I, I hear that. Like, dude, I got doxxed and the swat it so many times in my career. And it's like, it gets to a point, the first time it happens, it's like, terrifying it's like the worst but then like the local pd they know the situation da, da 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 and if you even talk about getting swatted or whatever that encourages people to do it more and in your scenario i just thought it was wild because you were like going to war with these guys and yeah, i was, felt i don't want to I don't want to say welcoming it or asking for it, right? But something along those lines, because nobody deserves to get like swatted or any of that horrible shit that happened to you. But you were agging these fucking bad people on. Oh, yeah, I did intentionally. Do you regret that? No, I don't because they fucked themselves by going after me. Like Kiwi Farms is like continually getting fucked now because of that. True. I mean, you won in the end. Yeah, it's like, it's down again. Like, at this point, like, the companies that run the, the, the companies that own the fiber optic cables in the ground are saying that they won't run Kiwi Farms. Like, they're going to have to fucking um, dig new fiber optic lines if they want the site to continue going. Do you ever worry about trolling so hard that um like you lose credibility because when you took down kiwi farms i thought to myself like holy shit this might be the most powerful person on the internet and i mean i meant that i was like what the fuck because that so many people were harassed by that site allegedly or whatever and wanted something done and nobody could get results you got the whole fucking thing terminated and so for a moment i felt like if you wanted to just ban somebody or get someone removed that you and your fans could run a campaign to have them removed. Do you feel like you still have that power? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's like a lot of people involved and there were people who had been involved in that for like a decade. Um, but I think the thing was that it just never got off the ground because it didn't have a lot of momentum behind it. And because I got because I got doxxed and because I got swatted and because there was so much media attention, a lot of the people who actually had the skills and resources to do what they did felt emboldened by it. So it you know? was like you were, you were the scene leader, but it was really an army of people. Oh yeah. There were like fucking, there were hundreds of people. There were like network specialists. There were a lot of it people involved. Um, like even with me, there's like, I, there's a team of 20 people like putting in thousands of hours behind the scenes working on all of this shit. What's up with the new makeover? I'm curious. Cause you did not look like that. You did not look like that. Like a (laughs) month ago you were, there was this meme going around and they do it to everyone. They do it to me too, where you have a bad picture or something. Right. And you looked you looked pretty rough and I see you cammed up today and I'm like, Damn, she had a makeover. I I finally was able to settle down after like moving around and living out of like fucking backpacks and stuff. And I was like, why don't I do something nice for myself? I'm not taking care of myself enough. Wait, you did that. You did it everything yourself. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. All right. Slay queen. Slay queen. I thought you like had professionals coming in giving you a full makeover or something. Um. Nope, this is me. I had, to, I had to do it today because there's, I don't know, there's like some media shit. I don't know why the media likes me as much as they do. It's weird. Well, I think, um, I think there's, um, they're looking for like, right now, there's a lot of movement for the trans rights and the trans community, and they're looking for leaders. Do you feel like you're a leader? And I don't want, I don't want to be. I didn't sign up for it. 
Like that's that's that, a lot. That's, that's so much responsibility. Because then it's like everything you. I like to ship post and troll people, and it's like if I'm a leader, then every single shitty thing I do is going to be seen as bad for all trans people, and I don't want that. I but just want to have fun on the internet. Yeah, I am. I but troll you troll. all the time. You know that. Nick yeah. knows that. Yeah. Nick unblocks me. And I'm like, you're literally Italian. I get blocked again. <laughs> Or all Italian. To be fair, I'm, that's because you didn't call oh, into the shit. stream. To be fair, okay? I thought you unblocked me because you were going to call Make in. him Peffles shut up. The Kiwi Farm dude is interrupting. He's being I'm unfair. I'm only speaking when spoken to. <laughs> you say you're not no, a cuck. But we're all, we're all Italian. Uh, I'm like 48% Italian. Are you full Italian? I'm not full Italian. My, uh, my grandpa came from Calabria. But, um... I'm still, it's weird because I'm still eligible for citizenship because my mom became a Canadian citizenship. My mom was born before he became a Canadian citizen. So I'm looking into that because I could like have EU citizenship. That'd be pretty cool. Are you thinking about potentially moving to America? Because I know a lot of Canadians in the entertainment business, after they find success, they come to America for more business opportunities or whatever. I don't know if it's like that in the streaming world, but have you thought about it? I, 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 I don't know. Like a lot of people told me uh, that it could be good and there'd be like a lot of opportunities for my career. But like, I'm honestly scared of like not having health insurance and then something terrible happening to me. I was supposed to go to LA a long time ago. And if I would have went, I'm pretty sure I would have made more money, been more successful, had more opportunities. But my biggest fear with LA is everybody in that town is fake. <laughs> They're so fake. Like there's no real conversations. Like it's it's bad. And I feel bad for some of the people out there. Like I know guys that are out there that were popular at one point and now their career is like down. And it's like they they don't have any friends anymore. <laughs> it's, it's like it's really, like, it's really yeah, fucked up, but it's you... true. Yeah, because it can't. This shit can't last forever. No, my shit was dying on YouTube. Like straight up, just every video down. Even more, I mean, what happened? Because I thought like two years ago you were gonna retire from Drama Alert. So my plan was to retire when I turned forty years old, which was March of um, this year. And I couldn't find anybody to like come in and be the host of the show. And I didn't want the show to die, but the show was dying regardless. And so it's like, then I decided not to retire. And it was really confusing for my fans. People unsubbed when they found out that I was retiring. Cause they're like, fuck this. I won't watch unless Keemstar is on. And then controversies, of course, I'm, you know, there's constant hate campaigns. I mean, whatnot. Um, and so I'm sure that played some part in it. I got to be honest, um, I don't even like, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. It was like, I don't know fucking anything about you. I'll be real. Like, I know nothing. Like, I hear like whispers and murmurs from shit from years ago, but I didn't know who you were until like 2021. I, I'm trying to think of the first time I, probably from Nick's tweets, I found out about you. And then I saw that whole thing play out with your your battle with Kiwi Farms. And I just sat on the sidelines and I was just like, this is fucking insane. And I think I covered it. I covered it on Drama Alert when you got, when you got swatted and shit and the horrible shit that happened to you. I definitely covered that at some point. Um, but it might have been on Snapchat. Yeah, no, I, because pre I appreciate it. I remember you came into my chat after the police gave me my shit back. Yeah. It's a fucked up ordeal. And... Not many people can relate, you know what I mean? There's only so many of us that have actually been swatted and know what that's like, right? Not too many can like... actually relate to that situation and how bad it is. And one, one thing that's really interesting to me is um, how, like, behind the scenes, like, so many of the people who are constantly, like, fucking shitting on each other, it's just, like, they just completely drop it. Like, it's, it's just, like, it's not real. What do you mean? Like, like with the quartering. Like, I, I've seen him, like, talk in private with people. I've talked to him in private. He doesn't care, you know? He, he'll call me a fucking groomer on Twitter and then be super nice to me in private. It's just, like, this act that he puts on. He probably thinks you're hot. <laughs> so true. 
<laughs> Dude, the quartering's weird. He is, he is so, so weird. weird. He's so strange. Dude, first of all, I don't know how he has fans because you cannot watch the quartering in normal speed. If you watch one of his videos, you have to crank it to two. And also, he has this weird editor that like throws in random memes because they think it's trendy or cool. And it, the memes don't even relate. And he's like always against SJWs. Like he's always against all these social justice warriors and the left and they're trying to cancel everyone. And he does the same thing. He tries to cancel people, but he's like on the right. He's like the biggest fucking hypocrite. And I, so I hate him, I, but I hate, I, I also hate a lot of people on the left that do that weird cancel culture bullshit as well. Um, but yeah. I think, I think it's, I understand why it happens. Like, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think deplatforming is inherently a bad thing. I definitely think some people deserve to be deplatformed, but it depends what they do, right? You got to be hurting other people. Like that's the way. That's where I draw the line. Like, like if you're, um, like what about like Nick Fuentes? Like, I definitely think he I did, fucking hate that guy. Yeah, he's you, a piece of shit. And you know, like if he was yeah. allowed on YouTube. You know, he dips his balls into the YouTube algorithm. Then suddenly there's kids who are reciting Holocaust. Uh, okay. Nazi propaganda shit. Let me tell you something about this Nazi Nick Flutie or whatever his name is, right? So um, on January 6th, uh, a bunch of like Nick's homies like stormed the Capitol. And Nick, what's the name of the guy? I forgot his name. Wentz? Or... Baked Alaska. Baked okay. Alaska. So Baked Alaska is one of Nick's buddies, right? And so Baked Alaska storms the Capitol, goes into the Capitol, goes into Nancy Pelosi's office. All right. <laughs> what? And and he's got like her name tag or he's on her phone or something. And he's streaming the entire fucking thing, right? So, and I, I don't like Baked Alaska. Baked Alaska um, was an in real life streamer, but also like this conservative type figure or whatever but on his in real life streams he would start a fight with random innocent citizens right and then when they would fight back he would pepper spray them and run away so it's like straight up bitch blood like this guy is a criminal and he's a bitch so i don't like this guy i hate the guy right yeah that's kind of shitty like why would you do that so when the FBI was asking, like, if you want to help us of who stormed the Capitol, I was like, oh, I know, Baked Alaska. And I, like, tweeted at the FBI because he streamed the whole thing. To this day, Nick so- Flutie or whatever the fuck his name is, that Nazi you were just talking about, he says that I fucking, I ratted, you know, Baked Alaska to the FBI. I'm like, I ratted him. I was just tweeting about it because this dude streamed it himself. The FBI already knows Baked Alaska broke into the fucking Capitol. And so I'm on a debate with Nick Nick Flutie and mm-hmm. he's like saying all this shit about, you know, I'm a narc and, you know, I reported him to the feds. And I go, Nick, I go, he streamed the whole thing. And by the way, this guy's an actual criminal. I was talking about the pepper spray. And Nick Flutie goes, <laughs> He goes, criminals are based. I'm like, what the fuck? Doesn't that go against all your stupid little talking points? Like, what? what the fuck? If you get a chance to look up that clip, you got to see it. He literally screams in the most cringeworthy shit. Criminals are based. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't even know. This is like stuff i don't know much about there's like a whole lot of uh stuff in this entire like sphere online that i'm just like completely oblivious to what did you know about like what what was your community before you blew up like who are I, the people that you do know oh fuck i don't even like online yeah um i'm trying to even think hmm huh. how did you get involved in streaming Oh, how did, how I don't know. I just like about? I had um like I had an ex who liked to go on debate streams. And I didn't even really particularly like them. I don't like debating. That's just like a fucking community joke. Um but I liked streaming because um I was just like I got out of a relationship. I was living alone for the first time and the pandemic fucking hit. And I missed having a community. So I just started streaming, you know, 
I built like a little community online. Was it related to gaming or was it more the debates? Oh, yeah, I, I was just doing gaming, honestly. Like it was just like watching fucking dumb shit on YouTube and gaming. And then um, like a whole bunch, like the big wave of like anti trans legislation happened in the start of this year, like around March. And then I switched to politics. Interesting. Something you actually care about. Oh, yeah, for sure. Interesting. So try to help me understand. I know I asked you before and you dodged it, but I'm really curious. How did the fight between you and Destiny start? Oh, man. I, I don't... How does it start? Like, how does it start? Like, what is the first thing that was like... You know, if you think about, about the American Revolution, right? Um, they call it the shot around the world. Both armies were lined up and somebody pulled the trigger. Look, I... I and they all started shooting. What was that first shot? With all, with all due respect, Mr. Keemster, I do not want to get into it because I really want to just move on from it. And I feel like just like rehashing it is going to make it so it just like never ends. Fair enough. Every time I talk to anyone, they want to... Add Ask me about me being on blog TV with my hands up. Like I don't even that... know what blog TV is. <laughs> <laughs> I called somebody the N word like 15 years ago, and people still bring it up to this day. So I hear you. You you are a silly man. Xbox Live Gaming. Is that is. Is this where gamer moment comes from? Did you invent the gamer moment? I think it was called Nick. Help us. What was it called? Her friend, because I see her like your tweet. She was involved in it. Uh, game Gamergate. Brianna Brianna Wu. I forgot is that the name why of I it. I had to come into this call. You you don't know the you don't know what Gamergate is. Yeah, I'm friends. <laughs> I'm friends with Brianna Wu. She's cool. She likes all your tweets. Yeah, I like her. Do, she was like one of the main people in Gamergate. Yeah, I'm aware. Gamergate. And that seems that that's like a particularly fucked up time in the internet. Ooh, I bet we're going to debate on Gamergate because from my perspective, and I watched the whole thing in real time, people were mad at game journalists not giving fair reviews and giving favoritism. That's what I saw. That's how it all started. But then a lot of figures came out and they spun it into this is hating women, which wasn't really what it was about. I mean, they I were think... like harassing the fuck out of her and a couple other women. And I, I totally get your position on why you would like it. Like you run a drama channel, right? Like the more you. Um... But you harass people, too. You know, you, you talk about people and send them hate or whatever um, un intentionally and sometimes unintentionally. But. I didn't, I didn't necessarily like it. I just saw it for what it was. They were upset because these gamers wanted real reviews on games. And then they found out about some alleged shenanigans behind the scenes. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, a game developer that was a female allegedly slept with one of the reviewers. And so as a result of that story coming out, I would assume that game developer You're and the reviewer... Like Zoe Quinn, but like... Would get the shit hate. that happened to her, like, like even if it was true, right? Like, even if she slept with a game reviewer, and that because of this, she got like one positive review out of any number of reviews she could have possibly got for her game. She got like fucking harassed and doxed and stalked and swatted and shit. I don't, I don't you know, think that's good. up for debate. I agree with you. I don't think yeah. that's up for debate. But then, um. A lot of people went on mainstream media. The reviewer media. never reviewed her game. This is the thing. It's like, I don't... I was not even aware when Gamergate was happening. I didn't know. It was this crazy big thing. It was insane. Um, there was, I think, the feminist um, like leaders at the time online. They jumped into the mix and they were saying... Gamergate is about attacking women, and then like the gamers would respond, and they're like, "No, it's not. It's about like journalists like giving fair reviews to games and not doing this backhanded stuff behind the scenes." Because it wasn't just that one topic. If I remember correctly, um, a couple gaming websites got exposed for doing paid reviews. 
like somehow, some way, and I don't have all the facts and details because it happened such a long time ago, but it was like this this weird thing where you had the mainstream media saying one thing and then everybody online saying something else. And they were talking about the same thing, but they were um, framing the debate over two different complete issues. Right. Honestly, I have more faith in what the media has to say about these issues than just like what random people online would have to think because really yeah because it's like they don't random people online don't have to fact check their shit you know drama channels don't have to fact check their shit when journalists don't fact check their shit they risk losing their jobs and their income well when i get a story wrong i get tons of shit and i know the mainstream media has got a lot of stuff wrong recently counterpoint when you get all your shit right don't you also get tons of shit because you're keemstar True, but I get even more shit when I get something wrong. Dude, Nicholas Duro, who you think is my best friend, if I get something wrong, he'll make a video or at least a tweet Kim, exposing me nuke. that I, I mean, got Ethan's it wrong. I don't think he's your best you. friend. I just think he's dodging because it's like, yeah, dude, if you had a wife, you would watch her have sex with another woman. It's okay to be a cuck. It's well, fine. Kevin, if you get to ask questions, I get to ask questions. That's only fair. All right. Okay, ask a question then. Wait, actually? Yeah, go for it. As long as it's it's if it's it, you know what it's related. Yeah, you know exactly I, what I'm open, asking. Open ended. Answer the question. Nick, Nick I love how you asked her. I love how you asked the queen for permission. Absolutely, <laughs> I would love to chat. Like, am I okay, free right here? What did you want to ask? Sure. So I was wondering, like, if you're fleeing the country from getting harassed so much and getting swatted and doxxed and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Like, why would you leave your actual like location in Canada where the police already are aware of your location and the situation you're in? Because after like the second hotel got doxxed because um, someone hacked my Uber account to figure out where I lived and posted the address online, I didn't know where the fuck I was supposed to go. Sure, but and why would you name specifically Ireland? Like, if you're retweeting the location you're at, why would you give them a head start to find you? Because it's like a country with millions of people in it and kiwi farms had previously tried to dox the person i was staying with and couldn't figure it out sure like they sure, tried for like, weeks and they couldn't also a country with millions of people in it yeah i don't i don't have a lot of friends in canada i don't trust canadians you have more friends in ireland true is it true the person you went to stay with was doxed like a month prior so you went to like a hot location no where's that from um I don't know what I can show or can't show on stream. You were reading the thread, weren't you? Oh, absolutely. You were reading the thread, oh, Nicholas. Trapped. What do you think I've been doing this whole time? We've been talking to Keem about fucking Gamergate, all right? I know. I, I love it. Hey, like you're, you're doing leave us like, alone. We were having a nice conversation we with were. no drama. Now you're doing this like chat pretend journalist thing. Conversation. I absolutely think Chat would rather have this You're having the conversation where you're being a fucking cop, dude. What do you mean being like, a cop? If I was a cop, I'd be knocking being... on your door. That was a joke no, you wouldn't be, because you're not Canadian. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't have that deficit. Um, so, yeah, I don't get the whole, like, IRL streaming thing. So, like, if you're, like, seriously in danger um, from these websites, I-, I assume, like, these people... I mean, you just shut down the website. You didn't shut down the people coming to harass you. So why would you tweet, like, no. hey, there's this, you know, I don't know, like a truck, right? Like a food truck that Kiwi Farms threatened I didn't, to bomb. I didn't tweet that. You never t- tweeted that there's a truck no, that no. Kiwi Farms threatened to bomb and you're going to IRL stream there? Uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I did. I was going to go to the truck. Yeah, so, like, you're super it's like, dangerous. So I already had... Truck. Yeah, I already had police connections while I was in Ireland, and they knew ahead of time where I was going. But you had police connections in, Ca- in uh, yeah, Canada, and they knew where you were going, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's your point, though? <laughs> My point is none of this makes sense, Scaffolds. Like, are you, are you, do you think I'm, like, a robot? Like, I, I am going to make, like, 100% the most logical decisions when I'm okay, scared sure, yeah, I, for my life. So I agree with you that you're not made, like, you're not going to make the same, like, perfect decision every single time. But if you yeah, take, I just, like, like, don't get the point. It's like, you know, they, they end up doing, like, even bigger doxes and they threaten me and they threaten my family. Sure. And it's like, I'm scared. It's like, I don't. You know, it's like one thing. I knew they were going to go after me, but when they started going after my family... Okay, but I'm when like, you went after your family, you don't have to name them, but you can say it's not Kiwi Farms. Okay. Dude. 
No, I'm just asking because like you're no, telling, no, no, you're no, no, no. Me, I'm not. Kevin, I'm not going to keep doing this because it's like I know you're like so I'm you're like knee deep. In, with your you're, you're knee deep in the shit, and like I know what you're trying to do, what, and I mean, you I'm already know the answer. I'm not even Clyde. Okay. Ask you questions. I'm, you know the fucking answer. By the way, you totally consented to me talking, so I'm not like ruining anything. I have revoked consent. You can revoke you consent mean? at any moment. Wait, Mrs. Fucking Mrs. Debate Girl, come on. I'm not a. De- I don't debate. Wait, so you want to have Keemstar you know on the steamroll, but you can't answer a few pesky questions? Dude. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to... Uh, well, obviously content, let's be fair. But also, I'm trying I know. to probe. I just want to know. These are like burning questions the internet wants to hear the answers to, Keffles. When am I going to have this opportunity again to ask the, the question? I mean, no, you... what's, where's, what's your formal response to the do- document? The formal response? Yeah. I already gave a response. Was it to say? Well, Nick, you you're going too today, hard. You're, you're, Nick, Nick, yeah, Nick, you're like, going it, too. I know he is. Too He's hard. like really pressing me. It's, it, it's um, coming off like an interrogation. It is an interrogation. It slow is. down right now. Yeah, but slow, Dude. but but Nick, slow down a little bit because it's like da 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 da. It's like if you want a Nick, real answer, you got got to ask sure. a question so, slowly. Nick, all right, I'll slowly ask it. You got to think, Nick. Nick, you just got told you went too hard by Keemstar. What are you doing, boy? Yeah, that's like the pedo guy. All right, so. Um, my question. Oh, is, now you're calling me a pedo too. What we're friends. Fuck? I have the pass. All right. My question, Caffles, to you, is how come? Hello. Like, so basically, if there's another website that's doing things as malicious or more malicious than the Kiwi Farms post, uh, I'm wondering, like, why not draw attention to that website in particular if they seem to be more inherently dangerous? Um, I don't think they're more inherently dangerous. Um. They also don't have as many active users because the people who, on the other side, the people who do it, they're more technically skilled in what they do. Um, but also because they had more extensive um, documentation on my family, and I didn't want to put that out there. I think that's reasonable, right? Like, I don't want my family to get hurt. Sure, if you don't want your family to get hurt, that's fine. But the opposite... Of, of what you're saying right now was your justification as to why you have to go after Kiwi Farms. Like, this place is doxing you. This person's posting tons of your information. It's like Why do you, you defend to Kiwi Farms so much? I think that's the question. Well, that's certainly Why do a you see it as something I mean, it that... Is a question, but it's it's not a deflection. a deflection. Why do you think it should Look, we can exist. absolutely go down that logic path, but I want to ask you the question of... if you, No, I'm asking no, you the you question really now. Why do it exist? Waffles. Why do you defend it? Why are you running? I'm just, like, it's a simple question, right? So, like, oh, dude, I'm not in If you're, like, if I, you're um, afraid of things have, farms, No, 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 Nicholas, things have de-escalated. I am no longer in hiding. I'm not running from anything. But why have things de-escalated? But why de-escalated? do you think Kiwi do you Farm think, should so is? all these websites just decided to stop harassing you? Oh, uh, no, Kiwi Farms is fucked. You know that. Yeah, but are the Kiwi Farmers fucked? Like, the people who are going, like... I know all the people. Wait, wait. I'm so confused. So the people who are able to dox you by like a picture you took in your in a hotel room bed can't use Tor. Like they can't access that on the dark web. Kiwi Farms isn't online on the dark net. It's completely gone. It's completely gone from everything now. I, I know the uh, yes, URL it is was completely up as of two offline. Days ago, so I can absolutely concede that if that's the case. Yeah, it's as of two days ago. It's completely gone. They got dropped by the company that runs the lines in the ground. Sure. So if you're having a, a situation where you, you've now defeated Kiwi Farms, all these people are gone forever, hypothetically, if, there's, if, they, if it never comes up again. Sure. Um, I mean, like, you've been harassed by multiple other websites. I think you posted one message where people were claiming to have doxed you from 4chan. Are you planning on going to war with them next? No, I, I don't. Uh, I'm not like this cancel culture crusader. Wait, you think that attacking doxers is cancel culture? You don't think that's justice? Oh my god, dude, you're so fucking bad faith with that. Like, I could, I could physically hear the shit-eating grin on your face when you, you know said me, that. Like, I could hear from yeah. the intonation in your voice. Well, I'm just wondering, you're not cancel culture? I mean, you, you were, like, justifying no. flagging me on Twitter. Yeah, I mean... Am I Kiwi Farms? I, can, I, can I jump in for just two seconds? Sure. There is there is some stuff that I've seen from your com- community about false flagging people. Uh, right. You still support that or like? Cause Wait, when, like, when was the false flag? Oh God! Now I got to remember. I mean, I, and I, I retweeted don't. someone who got one of Nick's tweets um, taken down once, but I wasn't. You also replied. Okay, to so it y- saying that let you me didn't know, like, let me say this. 
Yeah, because I was this. like going through fucking hell, and you were like milking it for content, and it was like, let me, I'm just let like, me say I, this. I'm sorry. I'm let not me say the one this. With you have the rep. Of milking it for Hold content. on. I'm not the Hold one on. who tripped you up about I'm sorry that you don't have $100,000, but that's not my fault. You're a broke bitch. <laughs> okay, let me say this. Okay, Caffles, you have the reputation of you and your fan base of flagging down people and shutting down people. I don't know exactly where that reputation comes from, but is there any truth to that? Wait, flagging which? Who did I flag? I see. I don't know, Nick. Do you know? Because like I know that like she's like got that reputation for flagging people down. So here's down. A, a more broad question: Do have you ever have you, do you encourage flagging? Do you encourage like taking people down who are critical of you? Not necessarily like racist Nazis and. Oh, no, if they're critical, no. Like I didn't give a fuck about Kiwi Farms until like um, the doxing app. Like if they never dox me, I wouldn't care. Like you can make fun of me all you want. That's fine. Sure. So did Joshua Moon's mother dox you? Um, well, I didn't dox Joshua Moon's mother. <laughs> no, you just posted a picture of her face to your entire audience. That face, that photo was from news articles. Okay, but didn't you run she, for, wait, well, didn't She you had a public-facing job. Yes. Was your information public as well? Yes. So was using yeah, that but information not her, not, doxing? Not her address. No. Not her address. Her address was public. I didn't public. post her address. No, you, you posted a picture of her face. That's kind of fucked up yeah. for a person who's like really upset yeah, about Yeah, but Nick, what I'm saying is Keffel's address wasn't public because she ran for office, right? I don't uh, Yeah, I mean also Joshua Moon's address isn't public knowledge. I don't Joshua Moon's mother's address isn't public knowledge. Sure. I think like their old house got docs, but they've moved since then. But does that besides how does that change it though? If like I'm not even accusing if you post, of, like, posting like, the address, because but. Joshua Moon's, like, you know that she had, like, a public-facing job where her face was on signs all over the no, city no, she saying, lived like, in, right? No, I'm saying, like, how would it change anything if they moved addresses? Is that house, like, vacant? Because then people wouldn't know what her address no, is. people would know that address. Like, I don't, I don't understand why. Is that better? Yeah, but I wasn't, like, I didn't don't, dox you, uh, Joshua Moon's mother. No, okay, I'm just saying, because you said it was different, so I was wondering. Um... Yeah, it's just like that she was a realtor. Her face was on signs around the city. The photo that I posted was from um, a news article that she was in. Like, she... Okay. Uh, that feels weird, you know? It's like if someone runs a business in a city and in a public-facing job and you post a picture of their face, how is that weird? I mean, how... Because they're... What information was public about you when you ran for office? Um, my face, my name, um, my physical location when I attended debates. That's exactly Nothing. what I was. That's exactly the point I was making. Like, because she ran for office, didn't mean her like personal address, home address, was public, Nick. Well, I don't have access to what specifically was public at the moment, but I'm just saying that there has to be like a lot. Like, you're putting yourself in the line out there. There's tons of stuff about you that gets found out when you're running for public office. True. No, people okay. didn't. Yeah, no, because I was just like a a fucking like fringe candidate in a smaller Canadian city. I was like, no one gave a shit. So was the situation that happened with you at VidCon specifically real? I, I heard a lot of talk between like Melina and Chud Logic. Uh, what's kind of your perspective on that altercation? Um, wait, which? Um, Melina claims that you approached her at Vi at uh, TwitchCon. Sorry, yes. Do you have more information on this? Oh my god, yes, yes, story. okay. I know this. Wait, wait, wait. can I tell uh -huh. the story? Okay, so this is what I've seen. I've seen this, right? So allegedly, someone came forward with a story that Keffels went up to Destiny's wife and said, I'm getting your husband banned. Like some <laughs> shit like that, right? Isn't that the story, Nick? Uh, that's about what I heard. And people say all sorts of crazy shit about me. Like, people no, 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 no. Is, it yeah. is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Come on. Everyone clapped. See, you're. See, that sucks because that sounded like a bad bitch moment. I don't know. I kind of wish I could be as cool as some people think that I am. Like, people make up all sorts of crazy shit about me, and they make me sound like I'm this evil mastermind. Who always has like who's always like a thousand moves ahead. I'm calling Cap. Come on, Keffels. You totally went up to Destiny's wife and said that. That is something you would do. I'm getting your husband banned. Like, no, this is not true. This is fake. 
I already said, man. I don't know what to say. I else. don't believe her. I don't believe her, Nick. Can I ask you about like your beef with Stardust? No. Why? Because you already asked the questions. Like, am I? Am I? The cut interrogation. Off? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm pa- I. You gotta pass the talking stick over to Keemstar now. If that's what you want. That's what I want. Yeah, but now I'm curious. What happened with you and Stardust? <laughs> I think. I, oh, I called her. A, I called her a cunt. I was like, I, fine. I, I, I called I her called a bitch. I called a lot of people a cunt. Can you navigate this one? You got this, buddy. Me, me and Stardust got into a fight once, and I can't remember what it was about, but it was some political dumb shit. And, um, yeah, I got into a, a feud with her. I think it was the origins of COVID or some really fucking dumb topic that neither one of us has the um, intel to debate, and we were debating over it. But, yeah, what did she do to set you off? I, I don't know. Okay. I feel like it's Wha- just like, you know, I went through a lot of shit. And I'm glad Kiwi Farms is gone, but... I mean, Keffels, we're, we're gonna I don't think I'm ever going to, like... Enemy. Don't you want to kind of... You, you can vent your frustration. What, mutu- what mutual enemy? What mutual enemy do we have, Nick? Oh, it's the person involved with the Stardust thing. We, we both dislike that person, so maybe we can find some common ground. I don't think he's an enemy. I just think he's annoying. Oh, he's an enemy of mine, so... Wow, you're yeah, I, I don't, who are you guys talking? My... Who are you guys talking about? It's up to Caffles. I can talk about it if you want. I don't know yeah. this person. I mean, like the thing, the thing is, like, you know, a lot of shit happened, and yeah, I've been pretty aggressive in the past, but I don't think I can ever move on or calm down unless I'm given the space to. And I really want to, you know? I want to turn things around and be, like, less aggressive with people. Keffles, and now that like, Kiwi Farms is basically I'm fucked, sorry, I have an opportunity. This is the second time I've heard you give this speech. The first was to Augie, when you were talking with Augie and Vosh, about how you want to be less and did I online. And then you true. went to war with Kiwi Farms, like, two weeks later. Someone had to. <laughs> no one stepped up. Keffles. This is what I think. I think that, you know, the trans community, people are, like, looking for leaders or whatever, like, looking for a voice, like, where they can find, like, you know, common ground with or whatnot. And I guess there are some rather big um, trans um, content creators, but you're definitely one of the biggest ones, one of the biggest names. Um And I think that you taking a step back, avoiding drama and trying to behave a little bit more. I'm, um, I'm, I like drama. Drama's fun. I totally see why you do drama. It's like, it's so inconsequential. The Kiwi Farm stuff is not drama. That was scary. Well, then what is the change (laughs) that you're talking about? Be, be, give me more details. Like you, like you want to put things behind you. You want to calm down. You want to stop. Are you saying like more computational lower stakes? Oh yeah, no, I'm totally fun. I I love slap fight. That's a, that's like one of the things I actually like about Keemstar is that I can the, the slap fights are really fucking funny. And it's fine. <laughs> and it's like it doesn't turn into like this big thing like how dare you do this. It's just like, oh yeah, well fuck you. I you know, it's great. Yeah, but nobody and, ever wants and, nobody ever wants to play with me anymore. Everyone wants to try to be like, "Oh my god, he said this." Oh, like they want to cry. I have nobody to fight with anymore. Well, I'll keep fighting with you then. All right, you guys I are bet. on my stream. Less dead air, all right? I'm trying to bring Less in the dead air. right now. Come on. Anyhow, I'm going to go. But before I do, um, I think you should just keep doing your thing. Definitely keep trolling and uh, keep being an inspiration to your your fans and your following. Thank, thank you, Kim. This was really surprising. Why? I didn't think that we would end up having a conversation, but I'm glad we did. It's I nice knew we would get along. You're a fucking troll. It's nice troll. to humanize people because, you know, <laughs> like, we're, when we're all on Twitter, we're just like fucking avatars. We're names on a screen. Dude, the other thing is on Twitter, nobody knows what you're saying. It doesn't no. matter what you tweet. No one actually understands what you mean. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm walking away from this a Keffel's fan. I feel pretty pink pilled right now. I, uh, I'm so I'm so glad that I could um, 
uh, groom you, and your cat ears are coming in the mail, Nick. Perfect. Another day down at the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Uh, peace out. Peace. We were expecting like a huge fight. I hope you got that a little bit when I was allowed to talk. I So here's the thing. I can't sit on stream and talk about how I'm not going to fucking intervene for like two straight hours and then just immediately take over the conversation when it doesn't go the way I want. I think that's fine. I, I understand that everybody has no respect for Keffels in here and I, that's fine. But like I have to show some sort of respect because it's just like street cred. Like if there's somebody I fucking hate in the call and I'm willing to give them that conversation, I mean, I can point point to that in the future and say this is just me being charitable in a case where like i don't like the other person so it's like not super uncharitable um i don't know maybe it doesn't work maybe it works but it's just an effort thing to do <sighs> if all else fails i can rage on gotham night for like an hour but i don't think anyone cares about that um good stream nick kind of wish you got more out of her though to be honest i had a specific list of talking points i needed to hit for my video and i hit them all um so i'm good i anything dude once we got past the um once we got past project x or whatever i was good that i blew my load on that and i was fine um because that's the stuff i wanted answers to i i was hoping to get that um why did you delete Keffels is a fantastic human for my chat. Who is that banning? Slackdog? Oh, God damn it. Stop! Alright, you're unmodded. You're sabotaging. Um, in the future, maybe a private interview? I This is this is gonna go the way of Deaf Noodles. Even if I keep up, like, uh, decent, like, fucking... It's never gonna happen again. This is a one-time thing. You, you got to see the one conversation. Ugh. Thank God Slackdog deleted Keffel's chat message. Yeah, I know. I needed as many mods as I could get because I just figured I was going to get fucking trained by um, by crazy people as soon as I started it. Holy shit, though. This is great. That fucking... Dude, when Keemstar said Gamergate, I knew I had to derail the stream. He was about to get fucking steamrolled. It's not even that I think Keffel's is good on Gamergate. Keffel's is friends with fucking Brianna Wu, and Keemstar had to ask me what it was called. Holy fuck, dude. My brain exploded when he started questioning that. I was painful, dude. All right, Slack Dog, you're out of here for the night, okay? See you in a day, okay? Oh my god. Augie Chatter is going crazy right now, dude. I did not know today it was going to go like this. I'm stoked as fuck. Thank you guys for coming out. Super fun. I didn't even get to play Destiny tonight. Fucking core master DM me to raid. Um, wait a minute. Core's watching my stream right now, dude. I literally see him watching my fucking stream. I know if I join, I'm gonna say the N word. I'm not going to. My destiny partner is watching the stream. Um, holy fuck. Thank you, Keffels. All right, guys. I take back everything I've ever said about Keffels. Um, she's not a clout goblin, alright? Thanks for the raid. <laughs> oh, Keffel's W. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Keffel's chatters. Thank you for- Dude, the Wigglers are inbound. I'm sold. Alright, I'm officially a clout goblin. Unga bunga, motherfucker. Let's go. Wiggler, wiggler, wiggler. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Keem. You owe me. I <laughs> know! Dude, you have no idea what Keem's done for me in the last 24 hours. Holy shit, dude. I have to go on the Keemstar show now. I literally have to go the next time he calls in. I have to. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is a great time. Alright. <sighs> Jesus. Not now. Not now. Not during the Keffel's raid. Stop. <laughs> Oh, fuck, bro. Is it bad that somebody said... Alright. So somebody said he's a pedo, right? And I don't know if this is a transphobic person who hates Keffels or somebody who hates Keemstar. Fuck, dude. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if I delete that one. Jesus. <laughs> Not only that, but I'm going to... Okay, you, hates Keemstar. Thank you, you can stay. Literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. <laughs> Uh, Keffels, play Destiny 2. With Wait, that would be fucking so cancerous. 
If I play- I'm not playing Destiny 2 with the person who got Destiny banned from Twitch, that'd be fucked. Uh, God. Alright. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought that was the Ethan Ralph stomach emoji. I'm- I'm so fucking scarred for life of the- of the gun demo. I thought the Destiny low tier god convo was gonna be my day's highlight. Jesus. You know what sucks? Is this is- like, I'm definitely not gonna get covered on fucking DGG, because I think he has like an anti keffels rule. RIP! Not making my first stream appearance over there. Shit. I can't milk this. I can't milk this. I'm fucking- I'm milking this so hard, I'm booking my fucking flight to Ireland, and I'm telling every motherfucker where I am, okay? Oh, God. This is great. Um... Clout blocked Sage. Oh, I thought you said Salvo. I, I wouldn't have read it if it wasn't. Um, no, no peace treaty. Uh, this is a very, 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 very fun combo. A very good night. I appreciate it. Well, you're going to show up on a Medicare stream again? I... Alright, I'm about to get cancelled by half the chat that's not mine. I love Jim. Jim is funny as fuck. It's, I, there's no... Qu I'm not even qualifying it. I think Jim's awesome. Alright? Not even gonna say like, all right, yeah, that's it. Jim is fucking hilarious. Yeah, I'm not, dude. I'm not even cucking out a half that sentence by by saying like, but I no, I I like Jim. Um, Jim actually recently said that I think Jim reported on his morning stream that I apparently um, killed somebody. Apparently, this is true. Apparently, on the incel wiki. It says that I, like, killed somebody. Um, I mean, I didn't know about this. I'm the first one to... I mean, I, was the, I wasn't the first one to hear about it, but I did hear about it from Jim. So, I mean, that's fucking crazy. Um, I have a legit reason to hate Keemstar. He literally profits off people suffering. Like, listen, I'm not, like, a super biased piece of shit, all right? I know everyone thinks I am because I'm friends with Keemstar, but Keemstar has asked me on multiple occasions... Um... Keemstar has asked me on multiple fucking occasions okay. to delete this video. <laughs> this video's got 200,000 fucking views. Keem has asked me multiple fucking times to remove it. I'm not going to, ever. It's in the content nuke, alright? So when people say shit like, wow, next to the biggest biased asshole online, I literally have, like, part of Ethan's content nuke still actively on my channel. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And I'm never taking it down. Um... Would that guy be Flex, the guy who ate his own cum? That guy's dead. That's fucked up. Um, let's watch that later. Maybe. Um, but yeah. You can't delete 220. Yeah, yeah, I can't. It has too many views for me to get rid of. That's why. Uh, God. You killed Flamenco? Yeah, that's the other thing. So, like, Keffels was trying to, like, paint it as I'm, like, super friends with Flamenco. Meanwhile, like, I decimated that guy. He's gone. <laughs> I fucking... De I mean, not tonight, by the way. Keffels didn't say that tonight. But that's the direction I was going into. If you guys want to know what I was going to talk about with Keffels, I wanted to bring up the Stardust thing. I'll actually just tell you right now. It's a talking point for a video later. But I'll just explain it. So basically... Uh, and she's she can respond to this if she wants, but I doubt it she's even watching anymore. I actually know she... I'm sorry, she rated me. She's, of course she's not watching. What I was going to bring up is the fact that when she talked to um, Stardust, their main point of contention was through a Dylan Burns stream that... Uh, Stardust was platformed on it, and Stardust is somebody who's like a chatter with Flamenco. So there were like acquaintances and stuff, and Flamenco, a Kiwi Farms user who's harassed Vosh and Xanderhal uh, on multiple occasions, was friends with, um, was friends with Stardust. And she, he's also targeted Keffels, apparently. I haven't seen those messages in particular. The ones about Xanderhal are in the back of my head because he made a video exp explaining, like, um, that Xanderhal's penis is gonna get leaked onto the internet, and he better be packing a big one. That's a quote from Flamenco, not me. Um... But, basically, uh, they had a conversation where uh, Keffels was extremely hostile to towards Stardust, uh, screaming at her. I'm not going to play the clip. You can find it. It's pretty bad. I'm not, I'm not underselling it. But um, the issue was that Stardust was friends with Flamenco. Now, fast forward to a conversation, not unlike the one we were having today with Keemstar and Keffels, where Vosh was a, a moderator... 
in Augie talking to Keffels. Now, this is Augie RFC, all right? This isn't someone who passively knew Flamenco. This isn't somebody who chatted with Flamenco on stream once a week. This is somebody who rehabilitated Flamenco's image after he got off the kill stream, okay? Flamenco was the former co-host of Ethan Routh, and Augie started platforming him giving him that opportunity to grow his own brand. Augie was instrumental in Flamenco getting the opportunity to stream to multiple hundred people and actually kickstarting some sort of a streaming career before it was abruptly taken from him. So Augie has much more ties to Flamenco than Stardust ever did. So when Keffels is engaging directly about Flamenco to Stardust, she's like incensed, she's irate, she's shitting on Stardust, destroying her. Um, now, granted, the conversation between Augie and Keffels wasn't directly associated with Flamenco, but I don't understand why Keffels would be cool with Augie if Augie has much more ties to a Kiwi farmer who's harassing her. Keep in mind, this is before the Kiwi farm war. Okay, so they have a whole conversation. It goes super clean. I referenced it when I was talking to her tonight, where uh, I mentioned that like this is the second time I've heard you say you want to walk away from drama and do more like your stuff and and not be in such high stakes situations, right? Um, and that was the conversation with Augie. So my assumption, based upon the treatment of Dylan Burns in a previous thing, which I, I can get into if you want to hear that as well, um, the, the treatment of Stardust via the treatment of Augie, being someone who streams to over a thousand to two thousand people concurrently while stardust streams to 20 now maybe a hundred back then it's obvious that she was treating the bigger streamer nicer and that's what it felt like a lot tonight so um and to be fair keffels was nicer to me i'm not going to act like keffels was super mean to me but keffels was talking a big game uh faking a debate with keemstar and then they get in a call and they have a nice little you know chatting match or whatever I think that if the streamer that Keffels got on with was a smaller streamer, I think Keffels would be much more inclined to debate angrier and um, and be less charitable and stuff like that. That's my personal opinion. Uh, and that's that's kind of... Um, yeah. You expect to have perfect information? She didn't know who Augie was. No, no, no. She absolutely knew who Augie was. This is after... I don't know if you know this, but there's a former uh, person in Augie's community called Polis. Polis is a trans creator that used to watch Augie. Uh, they had a falling out. Polis tried to, like, fucking show up to a party at VidCon that Augie was at. Shit's weird. Super fucking parasocial. Dream stand level fucking weird shit, dude. Totally fucking weird. Uh, besides the fact, Keffels, like, reached out and was like, why are you a fan of Augie and all this stuff? Uh, Keffels, I'm pretty sure, watches After Hours. I, don't, I, I think she knows a lot more about us than she gives off. Um, and to this day, the only person in my friend group, um, that Keffels hasn't blocked on Twitter, I believe is Augie. So I, I, I would be willing to say that Keffels likes Augie, I, at least by, by what I can see that they, they know each other, like they, they know each other. They've chatted. This wasn't Augie's first encounter with Keffels. In fact, I think, um, Keffels, like, demated Smaggle and Polis at, like, on the same stream once. I think before this, maybe after, I don't know. But yeah, they knew each other. Um, so yeah. It was like, uh, and Augie's always the easier debate. I'm sorry. I, I don't think Augie's, like, a bad debater, but he's done so much terrible shit. Like, Def Noodles really exploited the fuck out of that instead of talking to me. But, um, yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know, that's just, just me kind of jotting off some shit that I know. Is speculation the only thing you have to go on? Well, yeah, I'm just looking at a situation. I'm explaining to you why I think the way that I do and making a valid, educated guess on it. I'm not claiming that Keffel's, like, legitimately, like, um, treating Augie different because he has a bigger channel. I'm saying that's how it feels based off multiple scenarios. Yeah. Uh, well, you're not blocked anymore. That is true. I don't think that'll last, though, to be honest. Um, I think Keffel's wants me unblocked so she can quote tweet me. Um, I don't know, it's just me being uncharitable, I guess, but I think that's it. I'm, I'm the only but person that, like, didn't get banned over this whole situation, because I'm not ban evading, and I'm not losing my account to be, like, mutuals with Keffels, sorry. But this was a fun, this was a fun night. I appreciate her coming on, I appreciate her answering questions, um, and I'm not gonna, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, but I'm not gonna fucking, like, knock her for jumping on the stream. Um, Keffels blocks so many people to avoid hate. Oh, believe me, I block so much of her audience to avoid flagging. <laughs> to be fair, though, a lot of them were, like, actually talking about flagging me. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
I don't know if that's... I mean, I literally block probably as many people as Kethel's from her community as my community. So I can't really... Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. A day. Uh, she showed up at least? Yeah, I mean, I can't take that away. I appreciate the fuck out of that. I want to know more about the Polish stuff. There's, like, multiple different streams. Are you going to leave this VOD up? Listen, if you're watching me on Twitch, this is your first YouTube to Twitch stream, the VODs always stay up here. Uh, at 24 hours later, I'll post, like, a cut-up version on YouTube. That's the fucking deal. Um, I don't nuke VODs unless, like, a slur is said or I think I'm going to get banned or something. That just doesn't happen. That shit doesn't happen. So. And I've recorded this whole thing, so even if the stream gets taken down, it is 100% coming back up. So, yeah. Um, need more mods. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I don't... These people don't usually moderate. They just sit around with a blue, a blue fucking wrench in Augie's chat. They're not really prepped for that. Can't wait for Tommy and Augie to talk about this. Dude, oh, God. I'm actually, like... I'm actually kind of stoked. I'm not going to lie. I had a really good night tonight. Whew. It's like 1.30 in the morning, and I don't even want to go to bed. I'm, like, amped up, dude. Um, yeah. How many people do we have in here now? Like, 100? I don't have it open. I can't even see. I used uh, Chatterino. Got that from Star. Let's see. Oh, I wish I had Cam for this stream. Oh, 5 587. What the fuck? Um, do you guys got anything else you want to talk about? I'd love to raid into Gappy V. We've never talked before, but I'd like to raid into him. Uh, if you guys have anything else you guys want me to mention or chat about, or you don't like me, you want to talk some shit, sure. Um, Sargon, let's get Trump to tweet out Gamergate. You can't say, uh... Oh, wait, did they take away raids on Twitch? I don't know. Fake Boblax is here. Do viewer call... No. No, I can't do viewer call ever on Twitch. I'm sorry. It was great content at minimum. Yeah, thank you. I think I fixed it. Uh, are you in Fediverse? I don't even know what Fediverse is. Is that post? I don't use post much, but I'm on it. <sighs> I don't know. Tell me what you're about. I'm basically like a drama monger. I don't know. I make drama... I, I, I'm supposed to make drama videos. I haven't posted since January. I kind of just tweet. Uh, chances are, if you don't know who I am, you're probably blocked by me. Uh, anybody who's blocked by me, the 500 people who are here, and don't think I'm like a massive piece of shit, or even if you do, I don't really care, uh, bookingdiorio at gmail.com, um, you could just fucking send me an email with your at. I don't care if you even have a reason or whatever, or even say, like, I'm, if you just send me an email with your at, I'll unblock you. I don't know. No issues. I'm not gonna, like, fucking read it on stream and call you, like, a loser. I basically just unblock everybody who emails me. Um, it's, it's the email link to my YouTube, I think. My only question is, outside your main video surrounding certain parts, will you be posting eventually, like, the full uncut stream you recorded? Um, so I'm not going to post the full stream, because uh, initially... I, I'm, so basically, I have recorded the part from Keemstar joining the call. When Keemstar got in there, um, basically the way that I plan on, re on reposting it is I think I'm going to put my conversation with Keffels uh, at the very beginning of the VOD, and then I think I'm just going to post the uncut rest of it like after that. So if you want to keep watching the VOD, it'll be like a fucking two-hour VOD. But the part you want to hear is at the very beginning. No, I'm not editing out. Even the parts I didn't look that good in. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Ever thought of doing an unbanned stream? No, I don't fucking feel like milking it for content. Uh, hey, Doc, what's up? Uh, if I'm, I don't know if I need to give wrenches anymore, so I'll give you... Um, the star. I gotta give stars over here because my favorite YouTube buddies don't have fucking check marks. I'm the only idiot who streams here enough to get one. Two months in, I got this thing. Alberto wants a star. You could have a star. I'm never going on your stream, ever. Um, her own mod admitted that she threatened to delete his channel at TwitchCon. Yeah, I mean, I think that she was just kind of joking there because uh, there's absolutely no way she's. Dude, there's so many witnesses that, see, that said that happened. I just don't think she wanted to concede it, but I mean, that's fine. Um, see you at the premiere on YouTube next month. Uh, I actually, so, Keemst, this is crazy. I got, like, really fucking mad today when I, when I watched something on YouTube. So I fucking wrote half a video script that's not the Keffels video or the Hassan video. And then I called up Keemstar to see if he can get me something. And then he got it plus what I needed. So it's a whole section of the video basically done that I just have to do minor edits to. So I, I think that's gonna come out much sooner. 
Uh, it's not like a huge project. I just want to shit on somebody because like somebody's really annoying me. Um, and I'm not going to say who, because I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to go through it. There's a person on YouTube who I've defended for fucking years, bro. For fucking years. out of, And I, I honestly, I'm going to say it, I think it's bias. I straight up think it's fucking bias, because I really like this guy, and I really want to like him. Uh, and it goes all the way back to Sean from the point, and I just really can't fucking take it anymore. I, I have to give a fucking opinion. Um, but, I don't know. My fake Yeezys are going... Dude, all right. Kanye's like schizo, all right? I'll concede that. But his shoes are so comfortable. I literally bought a pair of Yeezys last week because I thought he was going to get dropped. And I'm so happy I got him in white. Oh, fuck, bro. Um, I think the best thing about Kanye getting dropped from fucking Adidas, or really the only super good thing that affects me personally, is that uh, they're probably going to just make them cheaper. Because uh, Yeezy still owns the colorway. So like when LeBron left Yeezy, not, not Yeezy, when LeBron left Adidas, they like repackaged his... Not Le no. When Kobe's deal ran out with uh, Adidas, they sold the Kobe shoes under a new name. So they're probably just going to call them like 350 boosts or something and take the Yeezy out. And like, I'll just be able to get my comfy shoes and they just won't have Kanye on them. I think they literally, Yeezy literally owns like the 350s, the four somethings, the fucking, they own most of it and all the colorways. I think the only thing they don't own is the slides. Um, so I'm going to probably just buy cheap fucking Yeezys. I don't even care about the brand. They're just so fucking comfortable, dude. Oh, burn the Augie bridge? Why? I like Augie. True, but I like having separate Adidas and Yeezys. I've never been a fucking shoe guy. Like, I used to buy Jordans and shit. Uh, and I, they always used to fucking cut my leg. I hated them. Uh, high top shoes. Like, Yeezys were, like, the only, like, decent shoe that weren't high top. Um, they were actually super fucking nice to wear. Nuke stream when? To be honest, dude. Ugh, the nuke stream wouldn't be as good as this stream. I think this stream was better than the nuke stream. I, I think I fucking outdid myself with content baiting today. Shamelessly, might I add. Um, yeah. What's your opinions on Keffels after talking to her? My opinions haven't really shifted. I just appreciate her chatting with me. Um, I mean, I don't think Keffels is going to turn around and say Nick's actually like a super cool guy. Um... And I'm not going to turn around and say that about her either. I think you'll know my opinions on Keffels when I publish my video. If my opinion changed at all today, I'm not aware of it. Um, but uh, Nuke Stream is a hoax. I I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to do it. But did you ask about the police stuff? The only thing I didn't get to ask Keffels was, and I couldn't do this on a moment's notice. There's just no way to do it, is to ask about the like the four similar stories about what happened specifically with the police. And I think her response just would have been like, it was a traumatic experience, and uh, I didn't necessarily know the information at the time or something. Like I don't think I was I would I was gonna get like a real answer if I started pinpointing specific details of her police story. I don't think that was a possible thing to bring up in the conversation. I thought about it because keep in mind this whole time when Keem starts talking, I'm like sifting through notes and shit, wondering like, all right, I mean. I I, I need, like, an example of this, or I need an example of that. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was exactly what I was fucking doing. I got exactly what I needed. Um, and I respect you for coming on. I'm off to bed. Good night, Repsion. Have a good one, buddy. Um, Core Master DM me. Uh, why don't you ask her to play Destiny 2? That's so funny. Um, I can't ask Keffles to play Destiny 2, because I- Oh, God, I just broke a fucking rubber band on my head. That hurt. Um, I think Mr. Girl is gonna play Destiny 2 with me. Mr. Girl was kicked out of DGG, so he's gonna play Destiny 2 instead. I think we're gonna have a raid night with like a bunch of YouTubers and Mr. Girl. So. He's moved on to the sequel. <laughs> As Keffles play Overwatch? I can't play Overwatch. Wait, Keffles can't fucking play Overwatch. The game literally doxes you. Are you kidding me? How could Keffles play fucking Overwatch? They demand your phone number. Are you are you joking me right now? Liter I'm just kidding. I don't need to do that.